People, welcome, welcome to the Calling Khan Show, Saturday night settings, 8 p.m. or there or thereabouts in the UK. Me and the Colonel are active. We're active. What are you telling me, Colonel? Are you active? Yeah, man, a bit last minute and that, but a hey, last minute activation is good still. You know them ones? Or All... you get the little cool. You get your coupon, your activation code, expiration date. Bro, that's good and down to the last minute. Some people don't know that. I'm tired, Colonel. This club can't do this to me at my tender age, man. I'm tired. They're tiring me out. How can they carry on doing this kind of madness? A whole heap of madness. People, ladies, gentlemen, we have just witnessed a whole heap of madness. And I'm just talking about the Liverpool game. The Spurs come back. The Manchester derby. Arsenal's arrogance. Chelsea's continuation of demise. So much talking points. So little time. Or is there? I don't know how long we're going to go on today. I haven't got any energy. I'm hoping the callers have got energy. I'm hoping the colonel gets through. Dazza, if you're in the building, where are you at, man? I'm waiting for you, man. Come on, man. We need a co-host tonight, man. Come through, Dazza, if you're in the building. Um, people, the link to call in is pinned you already know the drill. Click on the link. Have a nice Wi-Fi. Have a nice camera settings. Talk sense. Don't talk shit. Don't waste our time. I ain't got time for time wasters. Don't be rude. If you're rude, we're going to be rude back. And then cut you off at the same time. So how are you going to feel? But argue with us. Debate with us. Disagree. Agree. Whatever you want. It's your call. It's your opinion. It's your agenda. Darwin Nunes late dagger chat. And then well, Bill I was put I Liverpool because Bill out done the set the stream, you know, and he put Liverpool marching towards the title. Allow it, Bill. Mm -hmm. We ain't marching yet. We ain't marching yet. We're gonna talk about Arsenal because a whole heap of tears on social media with the Arsenal fan base. Why? Why are you not so triggered, man? What's up? Arsenal fans, what is wrong with you guys? So serious. Why are you, man, so serious? <laughs> you, why are you sadly the authority and relevancy? Chelsea fans, is your club finished, finished? Like, finished, finished? Manchester people, tomorrow, what are you telling us? Me and Zaberi are going to try to maybe at some stage talk about the Manchester derby tomorrow. We can just uh -oh. kick back. And see if, <laughs> uh -uh. see if the see if the red devils can do us saying they can't do shit really colonel can they by the end of the show i can answer that with chess okay by the end of the show you see if we get no manual callers uh. they can do something okay you see if we get a manual call and they come out with chess and that bro they're getting slapped up okay we'll talk about it we'll talk about it yeah. Uh, Indian Scout says in the book, he says Nunez, Nunez, Nunez. Revenite says Nunez, Nunez, Nunez. Chris Khan says, Smash the likes for Nunez, people. Come on, close to 150 already. If you camped in here, we, we're working, we're working. Let's get out of here, man. Shane McGee says, Here, here to speak on a Nunez dagger and those sweet and Arsenal and City tears. City tears, I can understand, and they're not even tears. City know what the deal is with us, they know we go all the way. I don't get the Arsenal one. I'm not going to lie to you people. I don't get the Arsenal one. We really are doing this on a weekly basis. Smash that like button. I'm tired, people. I need your energy. I need you guys to be buzzing so I can buzz. Rafa, call through, man, if you're there. Like button smashed. What a day, people. What a night it could be. Um, mm. Bailey says, smash up. Smash up. Smash up. Lil Force says, come on. Gonna rate the drip of callers. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. Hacker, you're too much, man. Pixelay says, big up the colonel and community, man. That's what I'm talking about. Big the up, colonel man. is in the building. T listen. Grizz, let me let me let me tell you something real quick, yeah? Because me and you, you we have some low back and forth, and mm. I may have like my agenda, and you may have your neutral opinion. Because you're the community, man. You, you know what I'm saying? There's there's last minutes where you like jump off the wagon and you realize like shouldn't have done that but that's fine we have to talk about my guy Gakpo bro he's lost 
Oh my God, he is lost, bro. Did you see him in this game, bro? He he's trying so hard to be a part of the game, and then the game is at the other end of the pitch. And then by the time he gets up there, the game, bro, he was chasing the game. He couldn't get in, couldn't get in. And the one moment he got in, it's gone. It's just completely gone. And maybe you men seen this before me, bro. But I'm like, nah, man, soon as they give him one job, he'll figure it out. He'll get to it, bro. But I'm telling you right now, I'm watching that game. Win, lose, or draw, probably been in like the same energy, man. Like, if we'd have lost that game, I'd have been like, yo, Gakpo needs to just go out on loan and fix up and come back. Okay, we're going to talk. I don't want to start off the show with a negative, but I hear you and I understand. Well, you have to get out the way. I we got the three points. I'm not debating the three points. You already got that in the bag. So now that's that done, get your shit together. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> we have to talk on it. We can't put okay, it to the well, side. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if the callers have got another side to this, this opinion. Because I have. And I'm and you know me, I'm not a fan of Gagpo. But I wanna I wanna bring another side of it. And I've brought it a couple of times where I don't think I don't think we're being fair on him. He's he's being moved around, bro. Like a, what gets moved around? I don't know. Furniture. <laughs> he's, 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 getting, he's getting moved around like furniture, bro. <laughs> You know when the ones where you you got a nice chair and you don't know where to put it. One day the wife puts it over there. One day the son puts it over there. The daughter puts it over there. Everyone's just moving. Back, pop, yeah, around, but, but Grizz, at the end of all of that, right? You start to look and you start asking two questions. Mm. Is it the house that that's not you know working with the furniture, or is it just the furniture not working with the house? And it's easy to get rid of the furniture than it is to give. So you're just going to get rid of a whole new house just to accommodate no, no, one no, furniture? No, we ain't getting rid of nothing yet. Calm Bro, up. that's the furniture you see on the side of the road saying for free. That's usually Man, the has... furniture that ends up on the side of the road that says free. I don't no, know if you guys do no, that in the no, UK, no. but in America, you'd be driving down and you just see some furniture. Look nice, you know. I, no I look, space look, in the look, We're going to talk on Gakpo if people want to talk about him. But that's all right. Me and you sharing opinions to start off with. I get it. Uh, Mane half a run, big up Mane half a run. He says, big up the Grizz and the Colonel. Big up yourself, my bro. Big up yourself. Done, uh, David says, fair play, Grizz. Back, get back on the streams. Buzzing my head off, bro. Mm, I'm buzzing my head off as well. I'm tired, bro. This club is murderation, man. Murderation. Anfield Road and big up Channel Mod. He says, a wise man once said, ain't easy. Ain't easy indeed, bro. And if people want to know what he's referring to, go and check out my Twitter. And go and check out Saeed's ending. I don't know if I can play it. Will I get copyrighted? Zubair, if I play the video from my Twitter, will I get copyrighted? I don't know. I mean, it depends on what kind of video it is. Is it your video? Or no, it's, it's his. It's, 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 it's his on his YouTube, innit? Clip from his Ooh, YouTube. Oh, Saeed. Yeah. Why would Saeed copyright you? That's true. No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I don't no, want no, to set you up, know. but I'm just curious as to that should be the last guy you're worried about. Is that how it works? I don't know. Man. Yeah, he has to file that thing. I mean, if he files it, let me know. You know what I'm saying? I'm no, he's fine. He ain't filing shit, man. You're my dog, right? He ain't filing shit. I'm just saying, yeah. will, YouTube, will YouTube copyright? No, no, no. It would have to be him. From him, yeah? His, yeah. But oh, if he does, Grizz, you need to let the people them know, bro. No nah, man, I'll, no petty. man, he won't. He won't do that. All right, then let me let me let me see if I can bring out people, 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 people. It's my brother Saeed's stream was legendary, absolutely legendary. This is what happened in the final seconds of the stream, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you Saeed TV. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How'd you play the volume? What? How'd you go back? Hold on. Now you want to see the start. Can you see? Can you hear that? Two uh, drop points. Yeah. Hey, easy. <laughs> this is at nil nil. What? This is what we scored. <laughs> Did they score? 
Yeah, you're getting copyrighted, got... Goose. Yeah, you're getting copyrighted. <laughs> you got to be. Keep joking. 99th minute. Well, I'm Fuck Saeed. Off. I'm copyrighting every man that put this out there. <laughs> it was finished. No, you see, I'm Saeed, yeah? I don't care if we work together, fam. I'm copyrighting every man that clipped that, bro. That's one of oh, them clips remember. where you're like, yo, I'm only doing it for one clip. That would be the clip, bro. Imagine what doing the, the hate alongs and that, and you're the up and you see 90 minute pop up. You see, if I see 90 minute pop up in the menu and city game, right, Grizz? Menu is winning 1 0. Bro, I'm going I'm to I'm be buzzing. You see, if like 10 minutes into extra time, city win 2 <laughs> 1, bro. <laughs> I, I couldn't cope. I couldn't cope with that. Couldn't cope Listen, with that at all, man. Black Jock's in the building. He's angry straight. He says, we win that game in that way. And you, man, gonna spend time rubbishing Gakpo. No. Yeah, nah, bro. You missed the whole plot of that, bro. That was just a... Uh... If you don't know the issue of me and Gakpo, then... It's, it's fine. I won't, you know, bring that back. But Grizz know the history. The people, them, you know what I'm saying? They know the history. We, we, so. we, we, listen, we're just talking, man. We're setting up the show. We're setting up the narratives. We're setting up the agenda. Everything has to be covered, people. Everything. We ain't here to just gas, 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 gas. We must talk about everything. All opinions count. Come on, Black Jock, man. Stay with us, man. Okay. Then he laughs. Because he knows I got him. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Anyway, is there a you know fifth choice forward at Gakpo? Joseph Tyrol is fighting back. He's fighting back. Um, well, the man said there's a fifth choice better than Gakpo. What? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm with him. I'm with him. He's fifth choice. No, no, you what? what? You're going to laugh at me? What? I'm with him. No, no, no. Here's no, no. He's fifth choice. He's fifth choice. Let me let me spin the narrative one last time and give your, your friend a little low blow kick. Mm. Dean Anderson left United because he thought it was better than being United's number two just to end up to being Palace number two. Make that make sense. When you see your brother Saeed, ask him about that. People come in, come in and argue with him because he's making he's gonna do this on purpose to me, man. I can't handle the colonel today. I'm tired. So people that want to come and fight Gakpo's corner, come through, come through. Mab says, Grizz, my offer for a free dinner still stands if we win the league. My brother, if we win the league, you are definitely taking me to dinner. Yo, Grizz, don't be going for that cheap stuff either, you know. No, 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 no. He knows I only go for the cheap stuff. No, no, not the cheap <laughs> stuff. I'm going to go for the... I, I eat what I like. I don't eat just... You know, I don't look at the price. You get me? Like, if I like something, and if I, if I can afford it, I eat it. Whether it's five pound, or whether it's 20 pound. That's me. Um, I think it's time to get some callers in, you know, there's 250. Yeah, people. man, let's hear what First, they're before, to say, before we get people in, man, I hope there's like a minimum 100 likes. Let me check up on the live, because I really get tired of asking you, mans. I have to beg you, mans, for likes. You guys know it helps with the algorithms. You guys know it helps us get out there. 81, okay, not bad. Let's get the 100 straight up, like straight, straight up. Red fellas in the building said, big up Grizz and Zoo. What a win that was. Never write us off. We never give up. Onwards and upwards, lads. Smash the likes and subscribe if you haven't. Up the fucking reds. Um, let's bring in Dazza, man. Dazza, give us a thumbs up. Are you good to go? Give a thumbs up, Dazza. Dazza's in the building, man. Dazza. Dazza. Good evening, sir. Dazza. How you Dazza. doing? Good evening, Dazza. I'm, I'm tired. You, I'm tired. Honest, Mate, this club I'm... can't do this to me again and again and again. I'm, I'm absolutely just... shattered. Oh. How, how, how did that just happen? I don't know. Thank you. How, how, like, I'm, I'm, I'm stood there, like, I'm like, no, nah, it's not going to happen. I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm like, I'll go to church tomorrow. I promise you, I'll go to church tomorrow. Please. And then, like, I'm like, God, big, 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 God. And then it comes out that ball. And I'm like, did it, uh, Nunes? Did it go in? Did it go? It's got it. It's got it. It's got it. I just like, <laughs> and my wife's visiting her parents. So I'm just running around. 
around, the dog's chasing me, and I'm like, I've got no one to celebrate with. <laughs> so I just guys, ended up taking it. Guys, guys like, these yeah. days, these days, you know, football's in a funny place, right? And I wasn't at the game. Some people are asking, was you at the game today, Chris? I wasn't at the game today. Um, I thought you were meant to go. Weren't no, you? I took a break. I was meant to go. But <clears throat> this is the reason I didn't go. Little cough. Um, and it gets worse when I go to games, especially away games. Everything's so tight and congested. I don't have my phone sandwiches, you know what I mean, at away games. So it's all tight and congested. And you know what I mean? These kind of things spread. Um but guys, one of the one of the things about football these days, yeah, when you get a situation like that, you can't celebrate bef- unless it's been cleared by VAR. Zoobs, was there anything going through your head? What, what was going through your head when he scored that? What kind of celebrator are you? Because me and you, we ain't watched a game like that together. So what kind of watcher are you? I'm going to be honest, man. I'm that numb watcher, depending numb on watcher. what I did. The, yeah, what I did. But it all depends on what I did the day before. So if it's like one of them long weeks and it's like really my chill moment, I'm watching that like a monk on a mountain. I'm talking about no reaction, <laughs> just just nitpicking at every little thing and just holding it in, right? 90th minute, I'm, I'm with you, man. I'm like, glad I didn't get out of bed. And this is noon it's coming on to noon I haven't got out of bed and i'm like yeah nah man i'm just sitting here no one is it's probably gonna I, be off sides i'm like it's probably gonna that? be off i'm not i'm not getting out these covers to celebrate until i see the lines <laughs> you see the lines i saw the replay it's very obvious from the replay i don't know how i did it but the sheet just levitated above me bro <laughs> i was up man pumped I got a headache from last night's party. Headache went away. Also, it does. I'm like, yo, might need to go to church, you know. Might need to stop partying this late. You know, family men saying, I gotta, I might just, just, just do me this solid. Let us get through this dirty one nil. I'll change up. I don't know if I'm gonna change up. Still, I but promise, we got that Lord. <laughs> I, Lord, I promise you, I will change up. That's oh, literally that's, you... what I was doing. That's, Taz, that's did you, honestly, I was gonna say, did you think? Did you think offside? They're gonna think of a way to, to disallow it. No, 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 my I'm pre- I'm pretty good at that stuff. Um, I I knew it wasn't offside. I knew it wasn't offside. Like when Chelsea scored, did um, mate? It's been a long week, hasn't it? We haven't. But when Chelsea scored that goal, like straight away, I was standing there. I was like, that's offside. I wasn't worried about it. Um, yeah, no, I knew, I, I knew, I knew it was a goal. <laughs> I just, I just went mental. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say about it. I just went mental. I, I, in my head, in my head, I was just going that. I was shouting my head. I'm going, that's the league. That's the league. That's the league, baby. But, uh, let's, let's. Okay. Have you calm, calmed down calm, since then? Calm, exactly. Calm, so you started calm, shouting, that's the calm. league. That's the league. Then did you realize? Okay, calm down. It's yeah, not the yeah, league. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. <laughs> um, we, we, or is it the league? We've got some... Uh, <sighs> if it was three games to go, you would feel it like that company goal. Like, I, I still want Joe Gomez to do that one. No, man. Do I that one. No, 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 no. Listen, we're going to talk about Joe Gomez as well, people. No, no, no. I just, I just, oh, it would just punch that Pep Guardiola in the face, wouldn't it? Just for <laughs> Joey Gomez to slice a shot and it's going to the top corner. And we won the leg. That's how we do it. Uh, that that was beautiful. That uh, Sorry, I'm going back in time now. That was beautiful that week when it was like, oh, that's it. The, week, the league's gone and then we go and beat Barcelona. Anyway, sorry. Talking about league, talking about leagues, uh, a week, sorry. This has been a mad week, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We haven't spoken since we were, we were talking. Yeah, actually, we, we were talking last week. We Chelsea. were arguing about Gakpo. We were talking about what what's going to happen after. And we've had a three games. Uh, have you have you heard Daza? Have you heard uh, the Colonel's opening agenda and narrative? What, what what's your what's your on. thoughts on it? Oh, no, uh, okay. So, well, let him flow. Let him flow. By the way. Big up Edward Joseph. He's gifted 10 Football Carnage memberships. Wow. Big up to you people. 
So whoever's received those, give thanks to Edward Joseph. And Edward Joseph, one of the perks is if I see you, your comments, and you want to come up on interactive shows, your priority, my brother. So big up yourself and appreciate the support and love. Daz, the colonel has lit the touch paper by saying Gakpo needs to... <clears throat> oh, I, I, I don't want to speak for him, so it's pick the floor. No, that's what I was basically saying, because, you know, I'm a big Gakpo fan, called it, wanted the guy here, and everyone been kicking him, you know what I mean? And I had to defend Gakpo week in, week out, but today was the first day I'm really watching him and I'm seeing it could be <laughs> what everyone else was seeing, or I'm seeing something people ain't even seeing. There. Because he's played everywhere for us. The um, um, not the um, but um, you know, left side eight, right side eight, right wing up top. He's a left winger, bro. Left winger. I've given you about four positions men played, and it's none of them is left wing. Today in the game, he's the number nine. He keeps dropping just to get a touch of the ball, but by the time he drops in, we're already up the pitch, so we're way ahead of him. So now he's sprinting to get up there. By the time he gets up there, it's a turnover. We're going back the other way. Now he's tired, so he's kind of just like trailing back. He jogs back short again to get the ball because we're back in possession. Man, then play some other way. Now we're back up the pitch. Look how many crosses came into the box and where was Gakpo? He was never in the box. But not one of those in the first half. You know why? He's chasing the game. He's on our team. And he's acting like a defensive player trying to get where the ball is, trying to catch up with the play. He's always behind the play. The only time he got on the ball, does was when he came short, got a touch, and he just passed it backwards. Yeah. I'll, half, I'll, go on. So, Sorry. So the second half, he got one good opportunity to do a link up with Nunes. He never had an opportunity like that the whole game. Man just blasted it for no reason. I'm not saying the guy ain't good enough, but I just want you to understand what I'm pointing out. The guy is on the pitch just chasing his own team around. <laughs> what would we do with a guy like that? He's in the team just following the team around. It does, I can't believe that does, you. That doesn't I help us. How you flipped that doesn't on help your boy? Us. Have you flipped on your boy? I'm not flipped on anybody. I'm just saying, if you look at the game, if you was watching the game today, you know that's my boy. So I'm looking to make sure I've got the right ammunition to defend him. People leave man alone. The man was just following us around the pitch. He had like, no, bro, the man was just out there clueless. It's like me just running on the pitch. And the man, I'm like, yeah, we just get in where you fit in. And I'm coming short to get a touch. They go long. Now I'm running up there to be part of the play. The play is going back this way. Then for nine minutes, we're like, yo, Zabiri, I didn't even see you in the game. What did Gakpo do first? He was just chasing the game. So if that's what people been seeing, I apologize, people. I saw it late. If you guys I never saw that, then I'm open up your eyes today. I'm not saying any shit. I'm just saying the man was just chasing us in the opposition today. I told you, I told you um, we might get a lot of Arsenal people about and a lot of Man United people about. Um, we know Man City, there's not many people about. We know Chelsea are hiding. Uh, Register Kev is a Man United fan. He says, if you're tired from what I, if you're tired from that Grizz, what are we United fans? Yeah, a whole heap of, a whole heap of apologies for you guys. And look, lo and behold, there's an Arsenal fan in the chat as well. I mean, like I told you guys, I don't know why they're so angry. Why are Arsenal fans so angry? My own, my own, Big brother from the big six. Turkish says, I'm playing, by the way. Oh, sorry, I got the wrong comment. <laughs> I got the wrong comment. Where's his first one? Has he deleted it? No. He goes, just here to say I heard the game would still be going on if Nunes hadn't have scored. Golden goal style injury time. And then luckily he says, I'm playing, by the way. Everyone scores late goals. Come on. Because <laughs> man were coming for him. <laughs> big up Turkish every time. Uh, but... I told you there was so much fume and anger and I don't know what, what people call salt these days, saltiness. I don't know. Oh, Daz, did you feel bitterness. it? Was there reasons for that? For, was it justified to be so angry if you're a non-Liverpool fan? 
I don't think so. I, I, like, I, I just want to go back to what uh, Zoops was saying there uh, about um, our boy Gapo. Yeah, he didn't perform as we expected today, but we haven't got the team or we didn't have the team that he could play with. That maybe that's not an excuse or what. Um, yeah, he's not Jota. Jota was great uh, before he got injured. Um, give him time is what I'm going to say. And sorry, what we what we what were you saying there? Who me? Yeah. Oh, but no, the no, Arsenal what? fans, if if they're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, the Gakpo, the Gakpo, you've given your assessment. You're thinking, let's calm down. He's not a Jota. It is, you're, yeah, it's you're, not you're pretty give much him, saying he's fifth choice. It's fifth choice within a team playing with, with so many injuries. Yeah. yeah, different team. And, and he's still, I, what is he, 24? 24 to me is still young. I think he's younger like, than 24, and, you know. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. No, saying. he's about that. No, he's about that. Yeah. Is it always and messing about with ages let, anyway? So let's, let's, let's give these players a chance, you know, and he's done well for us before. Before that, and he's got us. He got us to that cup final, which is why me and uh, Zeus were preaching for him to play. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, what we what was what was it about the Arsenal? Yeah, I just seen a lot of Arsenal fans all over my timeline saying this Liverpool ain't all that. They keep getting oh, lucky. The time Turkish. So the time is like you know it was like you know like. What, what you know when you as a kid you play until the last goal wins you know and you say yeah next goal wins <laughs> and they're next saying goal like, wins. it was one of those things look eight minutes were indicated as extra time eight minutes when the linesman official the third referee assistant ref call him whatever the fuck you want when they say eight minutes of minimum time to be added on oh, sorry a minimum of eight minutes to be added on you know what a key word is there minimum so what that means is the referee has discretion to be able to add extra time in extra minutes if he feels the team has had, if there's been an injury, substitutions or time wasting. Two, two Forest players were booked for time wasting. So are Arsenal fans crying about that, that, that it was over time? That, that yeah, so Turkish is joking. We shouldn't he's, yeah, oh. Turkish has addressed oh, no. the situation. He goes, I'm, I'm playing, but so many Arsenal fans want Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name's Turkish, you know. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's a good lad. He's a good lad. No, he's Turkish is a good lad. He, he, he's addressed <laughs> it like everyone scores late goals where, you know, he's playing. But so many Arsenal fans on my timeline. I got DM saying, you lucky. Can't believe it. You scored in the 99th minute. What the fuck? What? I was I was stood there just going Manchester United did it the other night didn't they we've got to do we've got to do we've got to do if Manchester United can anyone can because they're shit um, and we had to keep that ball rolling and we go again we go again um, we've got Manchester City we've got a whole week now to prepare oh no we've got Sparta Prague haven't we mm -hmm. mm, yeah maybe um, we stop there and have a think about that. On, uh, studio sorry. is full, guys. Studio is full. Don't give up, though, because I'm going to get callers on and off just like that because we're going to try and get as many callers on as possible. Studio is full right now, but don't give up. Keep trying. Um, uh, Carl sends in a super chat, and he says, great effort. Great effing win. Nunes, what a guy. What the hell happened there with the ref at the end? Gomez, unsung hero, but don't want to see him as a DM. Very briefly, very quickly, Colonel Joe Gomez. DM settings. Uh, Liverpool player of the year. Okay. Liverpool, I, 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 Liverpool I, I player angle. of the year. I hear the angle. Yeah. Oh, what are you saying about DM though? Um, The DM, <clears throat> I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I'm not trying to get over guessed. I think if we play Joey in four more games at the DM position, we can probably look in at probably top five um DM in the premistry. <laughs> Have you seen any weakness? Any weakness that Joey had in that it's a very easy fix. You see what I'm trying to say, Des? 
because the guy is so secure on the ball, very strong. He cleans up very well. He's mopping up that back line. Go look at the player ratings on any player rating website and look at the back line ratings and tell uh, me uh, that's not down to Joe, Joey G miss, doing his thing. I, I, I've loved – Sorry, sorry, Grizz. I've loved Jerry G from day job, you know, um, from when he came from Charlton to play left back for us. Um, mixed I, reaction, that's loved... what I'm saying. Mixed reaction. I, I, no, I, that's what don't, I'm saying. don't forget, pe people like a year or so ago were like saying, let's get, let's get 20 million for him, let's get 20 million for him. One, he's our English, um, you know, uh, what's the word? He's our English player. Um, to he's a, he's a really good player. He just needs to, he just needed games and to come back. We won the league with him Daz, playing next to Virgil, Daz, didn't we? Daz, Daz, both what? of you are pissing me off. No, no, no. Let me ask you a question before you. No, start let me tell you why I'm pissing you off. It, it, You're pissing it, me off. What did I say that's Here pissing you again. off? Because okay. I think you. Okay. No, no. Because Here I think you again. and all the men in the chat didn't hear what I said. No, I, so I, I want you to tell no. the people then what I said. Okay. Now, I admit that I may not have heard everything that you said. And I tell you the reason why. And then I tell you why Daz is pissing me off. Is that fair? In that order? Sure. All right. So I may have switched off when you said, because this is why I heard, and correct me if I'm wrong, brother. If Joey Gomez gets to play another four or five games in that role, he could be top four or five DMs in the country. What does he I lack? That. Right. So you missed that. And then you pissed me off by not answering anything I asked you. I said, what do you think of that statement? And then you went on to tell me about Joe Gomez and how good he is. And I know how fucking good he is and how good he's been for Liverpool. But I said, my opening question was, what do you think about Joe Gomez in the DM? Uh, Joe Gomez in the DM is... Uh... Two games, that's it. We won't see him there again. Klopp loved him there Thank the other you. night. You, you can play him against Southampton. Um, but yeah, we we won't see that again, hopefully. Thank it you. Was, it was it was a tried thing. He's, he's still a great player, though. Great I player. I I love Joey G. Joe Gomez has been sensational. I'm with Colonel about everything else he said about Joe Gomez. I'm with him. But I need to know. I need to. Yeah, he he is 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 your. I've, I've heard it a couple of times actually on a few things I've been listening to. He, oh, it's our new James Milner. I'm like, no, no. He's one. Wait, is about people are reminding me. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, is it Colonel. Can you confirm or deny? People are saying the Colonel said Premier League history. <laughs> Did you say? Premier yeah, but but like I said, like I said, you men don't understand what I'm saying. Like you hear the words, okay? You're taking explain. Them out of your, you got thirty seconds because we need to get callers on. Studio is full. Joey and G to went in. to left back and played five games there, and he's second choice left back. Are we in agreement? Yes. Are we? Are we in agreement? Yes. He played what a game, two games at DM. If he plays five more games at DM, I don't think we will need to put McAllister back in there. And I guarantee you, he will probably still start over Hendo because of his physicality and his pace. So if Joey goes in there and really learns that role, the way he learned how to be a good left back for us. Bro, I'm an Endo fan. You know this, Grizz. Endo will not be able to displace Joey G. So if Joey G goes in there and learns that craft, bro. Endo oh, what I'm saying, people, there, people, he's given it a bit more... He's, he's given a bit more meat to the bone. He's given a bit more context. That's all so, I'm saying, bro. That's so I'm saying. what he's so what Zuberi is saying, and I'm about the Colonel, because the Colonel is the co-host of the show. This show don't run. You know what I mean? Without the Colonel. So what the Colonel's saying, people, is the way he's adapted to left back, right back, and how amazing he's been, because he's a centre back. But he's been so good left back. He's been so good right back. That if this guy is given a run of games at DM. In Colonel's opinion, he could be a top, top, top DM as well. That's one of the talking points today. I don't know if you guys want to talk about that. There's loads of other talking points. We don't really set the agenda. We just set the talking points amongst ourselves. You guys can come in. All right, we're going to try and get callers in. I'm going to try some sort of order here. I see some new callers that's going to be in the building. I've got some 
channel members that get priority i'm afraid i get new callers and channel members guys they get the priority they're the rules of the calling show so i may like you i may like, like the way you talk i like your your opinions but rules are rules channel members get first priority and new callers i'm gonna get here we go we're gonna get niji is that how you say your name nji i'm so sorry if i've butchered your name give me a thumbs up if you're good to go Give me a thumbs up, NJI. No, he's talking to someone and he's looking at me, but he's not giving me a thumbs up. Yeah, he's giving me a thumbs up. Okay, he's giving me a thumbs up. He's good to yeah. go. We're going to get... Go on, Daz, what was you going to say? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, like, I've, ju I've, ju I've just seen somebody in chat saying he's, he's, it, it's very late in the season for um, Gomez to play that role very late. and I, I i i agree as well like you've got to you've got to um caress uh, we're going after a title you can't just chuck him in and say ah, let's give it a go you can't not when we're going for a title not when we're going for multiple competitions you can't do that if you're if you're well, you can't but league, that, you can't if, buy players either so if you can't buy players you might have to remold a guy you've you've just said we've we've got hendo mccallister we were boasting about McAllister like three weeks ago how great he's taken to that role so we so let's get him back to what he does best and he was playing left back best so let's leave him there I I, I don't disagree that maybe he could be a great uh, DM in the future but I don't think we'll see who the ne what the next manager does and then I think somebody else there um, I think it was even Total Eclipse which I'm very confused about it says he's too slow he's, he's too slow um, well, i think what well, he means by for, that he might he might mean too slow position, on the ball, for, too slow on the turn oh, okay you know so there's right the, oh, yeah, explain okay. yourself total clips um yeah look people stop getting offended over opinions and slap the light but i'm big up best comment of the day you don't need to get offended yeah couldn't Everyone, say it yeah. any better man yeah we yeah, all got yeah, opinions yeah. man yeah we got all opinions man you know what I mean? That's all it is, man. Like, look at my reaction to Colonel's opinion. But Colonel laughs at my opinions, and that's how we roll on this show. Everyone's allowed an opinion. Everyone's allowed an opinion. An agenda. Do you know what it is? On this show, you're allowed to create your own agenda. So come through with yours. Anyway, I promised a new caller coming to the stream. I'm going to go on mute while the new caller introduces himself, tells us where he's calling from, and who he supports. Welcome to the stream, my bro. Hi, Grace. Good to see you, my brother. Hi, you Colonel. How, hi, Daz. I'm good. Yourselves, guys? We're good, Everyone no, okay? we're good. So, fortunately or unfortunately, I'm not entirely a new caller. I called once before when Colonel was on the show, but uh, I think it's the same week you, you lost your grandma, so you couldn't make the show, so... Oh, I, it was left... me and below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's good to speak to you for the first time, Grizz. But I'm a pleasure, massive pleasure. fan of your of your channel. I follow humbled. the big six. Is I I follow the big six almost as much as I follow football because it's always after football. So it feels that's like that's what we same. like to hear, my bro. That's what we like to hear. Where yeah. you calling from, my bro? So I'm calling from Leicester. I'm originally from Cameroon. I always like to say it because I, I love my country. But Why yeah, not? I'm calling exactly. from Leicester. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who do you support? Of course, I'm a Liverpool fan. Come on, man. How do you ask answers? The floor is yours, my bro. The floor is yours. What would you like to speak about? So I, I would like to speak about what Colonel was just saying now with regards to Joe he's Gomez. Lit, he's lit the touch paper, hasn't he? He's yeah, got the tongue wagging. Let's go. I, I, for, I agree with 99% of what he just said. Like, Joe Gomez is an amazing football player. I, I mean, I'm not saying he's top five in as the DMs, but what I'm saying is you, you, you cannot say that there's not an opportunity there for him as a DM. If you think about it, Klopp tried Jones in preseason. If you think about it, I think he tried Trent. But when you think about Klopp, Klopp is such an instinctive person. Even playing the kids, that's a lot of instincts. And for Klopp to do something more than once, if it doesn't work, he won't try it again. But if he does it more than once, it's because it worked or he's seen something. And he's someone who knows how to build. One of his strengths 
is the fact that he knows how to build with his very instinctive think about it so if it works or he sees something that is nice that he can build whoever taught McAllister will be a six and now when he's a six nobody thinks about it because it's that good so the strength, one of the strengths that club has is the fact that he builds on what he sees and the players trust him that much and he trusts the players or he trusts the players that much. So I think I can bet my house on the fact that you will see Gomez in a six again because of how versatile he is. It might not be a long-term thing, but he will play there again because he's been good. He's been decent. Like It's not been the best. There are certain things that he doesn't... I mean, you see that you difference when Endo got got on the pitch, but he's good and he can learn. That's the most important thing. Do you do you want to see him in the six though? Like do you want him to be in there? I think like if, for... if you got you got you got Endo, all the midfielders are fit. You want Endo uh sorry, you want Gomez in that six for the rest that's of like the season. Asking, so that's like asking me if I want to see Gomez as a left back when Robo is fit. It doesn't make sense. But what makes sense is the fact that when you have everyone fit and you go into Europa League games or cup games where you have the luxury to change things and you can still get it right even though you're not 100%, of course you'll play a six or he can play a six. The problem, the, the thing with the difference with Trent and a lot of things that I've seen, even with uh, Bradley, is the way that they turn with the ball when they're in a, a midfield position. They easy, it's easy for them to turn with the ball. And for me, there are things that are taught, but you either pick it up or you don't. And I think that Gomez picks up a lot of things easy. He's, he's not the best crosser, but for you to be able to play on the left side, and do as well as you play on the right side. He's better on the right side. But if you can get away with playing, it's the brain. It's just the brain. And I think he has the brain to play anywhere behind. And the protection also. He gives a lot of protection. You can't bully him as a six, which is something that is very important. So you might not have the luxury of a six that controls a game, but you have a luxury of a six that is very engaged in duels. May I, may I interject for a couple of minutes, sir? So far, sure, you have spoken. Not? You have spoken so well, and you have explained a lot of what Zuberi was trying to say. By the way, Sing G, big up Sing G, sends in a super chat. So remember, big Rigobert song, big up Cameroon. So big up Cameroon. <laughs> um, Cheers. Um, I want to disagree with a couple of things. I always okay. like to. I always like to give my opinion, regardless of if if the caller is the first time caller, second time caller. I I don't hold back with my opinions. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with a lot what you said about Joey G. I don't think he protected us very well. Objection, Your Honor. Leading the witness. <laughs> no, I just wanted to do that. No, no, you do that while I cough. I got Greece. a cough coming. Greece. No, no, you do that. You objection, go on. <laughs> go on. You object, go on, speak. Listen, the protection was the mm. pace to cover. He was the one dropping in. So... With Gomez playing in the six, the only thing Gomez doesn't have is turning and getting on the front foot the way um, Hendo would, you know, drop the shoulder and skate past Rodri or whoever the case may be. McAllister turning and, and you know, pushing up past the guy in front of him. That's literally the only thing Joey G don't have in his locker at the moment. And people that's overreacting, I'm not saying in this moment or in this season, I'm talking about in the future, should that become his main role? No one can tell me what Joey G's main role is. Joey G does not have a main role. You can't tell me Joey G is the third that. center back. So he needs I hear what that. he needs right now is mm. an opportunity to make a stake. Like that's my position. And let's oh, let's let's be honest, Grizz. When we signed Endo, I'm probably one of four people back in the thing telling you, man, <laughs> yo, Endo, telling you, man, Endo can do a job. Then then you see Endo with the mouth. Everyone is sold. Right? He was so I'm, he was. I'm not saying get rid of Hendo, but we only have one six. And if Joey can be the second six, I'm telling you, man, dope. Because what Hendo doesn't have, Joey have. Joey have more pace than Hendo, more physicality than Hendo. Hendo got that little bit more control and that maneuverability. But Joey G, let's not forget it. Defensively, he was up there with VVD. Like you said, Daz, when you brought the, the, the history books back. 
So, Grizz, what I'm trying to say to you, don't judge him off the two games. It was more of a projection thing. Like, he has the potential. So, when you're judging him, that's why I object. Judge him off the potential till he get that run. I'm with you. I'm with you. And if anyone is to learn, Liverpool fans are to learn never to judge too early on players and signings and whatever, role Thank changes you, and positions, okay? I'm with you guys there. But the whole point of giving an opinion based on what you see so far is exactly that. You shouldn't be afraid to give your opinion of what you've seen so far and then project what you think may or may not happen. Now, used two brothers, judging him from those two performances, have projected him. Okay, I'm not going to speak. How do you say your name, my brother, without me? So the it? N is silent. It's just it's G. Big up, G. Yeah. I'm not going to speak for G, but I'm going to speak for Colonel because he said it three, four times now. He's projecting <laughs> that Joey... No, 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 yeah, yeah, you stay right there. Um, The Colonel is projecting Joe Gomez has the potential and the ability from what he's seen so far, like the rest of us have only seen two games, to be one of the top DMs around. I disagree with that notion. I agree with everything else. In terms of his adaptability, in terms of he hasn't got a real defined role in the team. You know, he's been magnificent left back, right back, centre back. He's been immaculate. I might even back him on the player of the season so far for Liverpool. Certain people are calling him Joe Milner. Do you know what I mean? I hear all of that. But in my opinion, I'm not sure. G, you've been a wonderful caller though. We've got to keep it moving because there is a hell of people trying to get in. Chris, I just have I have one last question for you. Go for it, sir. I know it didn't work for that game, but did you ever see a world where Trent will be on the field with Joe Gomez against Arsenal and Joe Gomez will play the inverted role? Think about it. No, I agree with you. He was he was very good. There was a there was a couple Think of about games. It. There was a couple of games where he played inverted. And this is the same argument that is used for Trent. When you're playing fullback from a standing point and then you invert during a game for periods of the game whilst we're out of possession just to be the covering midfielder, it's a whole heap of difference when you're starting from a DM position. Against Southampton in that first half an hour, we should have been 4-0 down, 3-0 down. And Joe Gomez, close to single-handedly, would have been the reason close to single-handedly because he was ahead of the ball for the first half an hour because, not because his fault because he doesn't he's never played that role before never today in that and today was the opposite nottingham forest played so deep joe gomez had time on the ball and his speed of pass his kill, breaking of the lines was non-existent i'm not saying he can't develop to being a solid dm because of joe gomez's ability and talent but I will forever, forever disagree that he can be one of the top DMs in the country. G, we've got to keep it moving. Thank you so much for your participation. Look after yourself. Cheers, guys. All right. Thank you. That's is very one and us up. Was he serious? No, you know what, Grizz? Um, I don't want to take it out of context, but you know what you just did? You walked into the locker room, you look at our player, and you just basically look man in the eye and be like, you're just going to be average, bro. So go out there and have fun. Can't tell your players that, man. Well, this Can't is tell people that, people are rolling into the show are saying, yo, what the heck, Gomez in DM? This is what we're talking about, people. <laughs> people that are rolling up to the show, first and foremost, have you liked the stream? That's what I need to know first. Over 350 of you guys in here and hit that like button because that's what we need to do first and first and foremost. Blue Moon says intelligent caller. He was. G was a G, bro. Not going to lie. Um, guys, once you've been on the show and the call, please leave the studio. Don't let me have to kick you from the studio because <laughs> I need to find other call other callers need to have space in the in in the calls. All right, I'm gonna make an order now, Daza. Before you give us a little bit of a, what what you've heard so far, if you've changed your mind in any way, shape, or form, or is there anything else that caught your mind in the game today? Lead a, a talking point or agenda? I don't know. Um, Lewis Lewis Diaz. <clears throat> was something i wanted to bring up i i, I mentioned it on uh, one of the uh, channels that i type into he was playing central i felt he was going more central mm -hmm. i didn't understand what that was about so i didn't know if anybody else had any other ideas about that people came back to me and said oh we we, we all interchange that that's how we play and i'm like no i, I felt he was more central so i didn't really understand 
understand what that was about, whether it was uh, a tactic that obviously I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not Jurgen Klopp, so maybe that was something. Um, and uh, some people, I've, I've heard like different things about how he got on today. I'm like, people say, oh, he, he, he did great. And I'm, I, I wasn't keen on him today. I wasn't keen on Luis Diaz today. Um, this is one of those ones where the eye test can fail you. Diaz gets on the ball. You're in, expecting something to happen. Nothing really happens. Gakpo yeah. doesn't get on the ball, but you will slay Gakpo. But Gakpo has produced more than Luis Diaz on paper. Not saying he's better than Luis Diaz. What I'm trying to say is Diaz will do all the flashy stuff, run around with the ball. Mm -hmm. The end product doesn't match the amount of touches he has, the amount of possession he has. The end product doesn't add up. Gap on the other hand, can't even get a kick of the ball. So for me, Diaz is like fourth choice, man. Gakpo is like fifth choice. I'll even put Gakpo ahead of Diaz. Like I said, because Diaz gets on the ball. Diaz doesn't beat anyone. He rarely beats anyone. He stood people up. Opposition get back into position. Coverage. We have to recycle it now. He's cutting in. He's getting crowded out. He has overlap. He doesn't even always use the overlap. You know what I'm trying to say? When was the last time I you see like an intricate one-two with him and he gets in? He only had like one opportunity today. He kicked it like, oh no, worse than Gakpo shot. Gakpo shot hit the side there. Diaz one was like five yards off it, so I, 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 I didn't. I didn't see right the there. overlap. I didn't see the overlap today. I didn't see. I, I, I felt it, it wasn't. It wasn't a lot. lot. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot. Like, of overlap. But he doesn't use I've, it either way. He doesn't use it. No, we'll, we'll normally be Robbo because we spoke a couple of weeks ago and we said, "Oh, that that would be the thing about why we would play Robbo, Robbo in the final, like that that connection and stuff." But it didn't seem to happen today. But I thought Forest, Forest defensively were very good today, and we just it, it felt like a twelve thirty kickoff today. It really did. It felt like we weren't at the game, weren't at the uh, uh, the stadium, and. It was. I, I just knew second half we would do something, and we they they didn't have anything. Did you and, really? Did you really think we're going to do something? As as time I, was it, elapsing at, at half time. At half time, oh, I had no. Time, I had, sorry, yeah. no. At, at half time, I had no problem. I, I, I was out there having my cigarette, and I'm like watching all this stupid stuff on YouTube, and I'm like. Talk, talk to some of the guys in Discord, and I'm like, seriously, are, are people saying this? And they're like, yeah, just like, it's just fans. I'm like, have they not seen Liverpool this season? What we've done this season? And then, then we got to mate. Look, you can't see this, but my minutes go. What I've what I've put down to 69, and then it stops from 69 because then I start getting worried. I'm like, I'm just like, oh shit, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So I got to 69 minutes where I was like, it, we're going to win this game. We're going to win this game. We're going to win. We're, gonna, no, we're not going to win. We're not going to win. What's going to happen? And that's when I started praying to God. Now why I've got to go to church tomorrow. <laughs> Listen, Sorry. People, people in the studio, I have done the order for the whole studio. Um, if you if you leave the stream, or if you leave the studio, you will lose your place, unfortunately. Um, that's another one of those rules. But that's the order. Uh, I'm going to try to remember it. Um, hopefully the Colonel is in the studio and he can help me. But yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm seeing it. All right. Yeah, um, who's first then? Can you remind Alexander me? OG. Alexander Why do you always OG? do this? <laughs> Alexander OG, when... are you are you there, my bro? Yeah, he is. Uh, all right. Is he settling down? Are you ready to come on? Yeah, man's partying, man. Man's That's what I'm saying. Go. Man's partying. Are you, are you, are you going to settle down, my bro? Like, let's give him a couple of seconds to second now. Yeah, let him catch his breath. Let him catch yeah, his let breath. Let him catch his breath. Let him not be a hype. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> uh, Alexander OG, welcome to the stream, my brother. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. What's happening? I'm good, man. I'm good. Connell, how you doing, sir? Probably remember me? I'm, yeah, I'm good. I'm good, man. How you been, man? It's been a minute. I know I'm good. I'm very well, man. I'm very well. First of all, I just want to say I'm a, I'm a big fan, man. I'm a big fan of the both of you, man. Like, 
you're the color said i watch big six i watch all your shows so yeah hey man humbled. humbled thank you sir thank you thank you thank you where are you calling from who's your team <laughs> lfc come on man like the okay. other color said well, I don't know, man. I'm seeing a blue. I'm seeing a blue headrest in the background, man. I, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's got to be the wife's choice, right? That's Thank the one. You. <laughs> you know that. You know that. Yeah, but I'm Liverpool, man. Liverpool, true and true. Thirty years and counting. London, big up, London, big up. London. I'm in Bournemouth, Bournemouth area, but okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Bournemouth down the road. Okay, come on, good. Man, come on, you could have easily been an Arsenal fan, so yeah. Big I up know, yourself. I know. Everyone around me, everyone around me is an Arsenal fan, but yeah, I'm Liverpool. Big up, big up. What do you want to speak about, Mabuki? Yeah, three things, three little things. First one was the Gapo thing. I know. Um, unfortunately, Connor, I'm not on your side on this one. I think Gapo is one of those players where, if you remember when, when we bought him last season. He was one of our better players, especially in that whole Firmino role. And this season, like Grizz has said, we've used him everywhere. He's been le he's been like the attacking version of Milner. Yeah. So it's very difficult for him to really, really find consistency. And prior to us buying him, he was the left winger. I think the, I think the easiest thing club can do is just, you know what? Play him as the left winger. Let him be Diaz's sub. Because the last thing we want is Diaz to break down and we've got no one on the left. Gapo can do a job out there. So I, I just feel myself using him up front on the right as an eight. Just stick him out on the left when Diaz is having a bad game or when we want to rest Diaz because Gapo will give us something different from the left. He's got good GA in the season. Even though he's a fifth choice, he's got decent GA. He's got better, better GA than the likes of Rashford and some of some of the other big names. And out Diaz there. as well. And Diaz, the guy you're saying he should start behind. Ex so. ex exactly. Because there's certain games where you might need Gapo's attributes from the left. There's some mm -hmm, games mm -hmm. might need Diaz's attributes from the left. I just think leave both of them on the left, depending on the game, and just just back him, man. I think I think he's a decent player. I'm not gonna say he's a world beater, but he's young. He's got attributes that can that can obviously be elevated. So that was the first thing I wanted to talk about. Second thing I wanted to talk about, Greece. I needed to really promote this point. McAllister, player of the season. I don't Oi. I don't just mean I don't uh -uh. just mean Liverpool player of the season. I mean player of the season in the premiership. Because I think he's been going under the radar, cooking the eye test, the stats, and the trophies. Man's the World Cup winner. Because when I'm hearing all this Declan Rice player of the season, I'm hearing players like Douglas Luiz. Why is McAllister not being mentioned? Because you know he was 30 million and but, not Thank you, Daza. In the society and the social media we live in today, it's all about the big dollars or the euros or the sterling, whatever currency is portrayed in. Yeah. 100 million plus? Oy. He must be something special. Below 30, below 40, around the 30 40 months yeah run of the mill yeah he might have a few games here and there but now we're looking for the we're looking for the big 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 buys yeah. i want and i need i want and i need liverpool to win one of the major trophies this season inshallah god willing and then the McAllister hype and the McAllister, what we call it propaganda and agenda Yep. will be a run will be a run am i speaking the truth colonel wendaza are you in agreement with that we must no win. i disagree 100 percent disagree <laughs> what? Wow. Ten thousand percent. get him off disagree. get him off <laughs> no 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 let him land no. let go, him go. Go, go. everything you're saying by the way alexander og is 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 true except the shout for player of the season he can't get it because he's doing he's not even doing his job he's doing like uh the managers give him this like yo this ain't really where you fit in but go over there and do me a job so if we should measure McAllister, he's not the best dm in the league so 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 to then to your point how can we give the man player the season and he ain't even the best player in his position but let me he ask the question he ain't no, Guys, never he, bite like me. But never bite. But he, I bite. Don't bite he, like me. Let's listen, finish. But he doesn't have any leading stats in the league. That's the Henderson charity thing. From I'm a Liverpool <laughs> fan. I'm a Liverpool fan, right? OG, you're you're a Liverpool fan, and you're saying to me 
you want to give it to a Liverpool player. I'm not here to fight about that. But if there's ever a Liverpool player to get it, McAllister will probably be fourth on that list. Fourth on that list. So if we're going to nominate four Liverpool players for what that you're giving them, Alexander, McAllister will be fourth on that list for me. That's okay. why I'm saying I, I disagree. There's other Liverpool players that's worthy of that shout. Ahead okay. Of Daza, uh, come back with a few seconds and then... Alexander OG, you're going to have the last couple of minutes before we keep it moving. Chat, I want to hear your opinions. I want to hear the chat flow now about what Zuberi said. He thinks there's four players. He said five, but I'm going to give him four. He said four players ahead of Alexis McAllister that deserve to be player of the season. Nah, I said he be fourth on that list. Okay, three, three players. Okay, oh, yeah, Don't no skew the numbers. No, <laughs> no, no problem. So three players... Within Within on, Liverpool, Daza, you get a couple of minutes and yeah. then Alex closes it. Within, you go within Liverpool, Colonel, you don't come back for Colonel now. There's four players above him. Three players. Right. Three players four. above him. Yeah, so he's four. four. So, so, you're, three players. so you're talking Alisson, VVD, and who's your third? Joey, we literally agree Joey's up there. It's, it's, it's so how are we just going to forget Joey was up there? We all three sat here and agreed. Right, Alexander right, right, come right. in and we just forget about Joey. No, we didn't agree. I said that, I said I hear it. It doesn't mean I season. agree. But th this this boy, this boy, and let's not forget he's a boy. He's, I don't care. Twenty four. I know people here will say 24 years old is a mid, is a an, a, a, an old man. No, 24-year-old, 25 coming. He came into this team to play a position that Klopp told him to play. He's not a DM. I think somebody said it in the chat there. He's not a DM. And he's played it. We all, we were all a little bit uncomfortable about it to begin with. And then we were just like purring. And that guy, when he came on the pitch the other day, did you see the difference? You saw the difference. That guy makes us purr. And, and we all loved um, the, the Hungarian... Um, Gerard, when he first came in, and 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 we were all like, Oh, we're not sure about this guy, McAllister. Oh, maybe. And now we're seeing the fruits of of, 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 uh, of his labor. Um, so for me, definitely top three, Alexander of Jerry G. Alexander, the floor is yours. Last couple of minutes, if you yeah. want to respond to that, or if you want to so ignore you it, it's up to you as well. well. No, no I'll just, one more you can, you can choose to ignore it and yeah. say what you want to say because yeah, you only I'll, got like a minute yeah. or two. I know, I know. Or, I'll, or you can respond to that. It's up to you. Now, now I'll, I'll just ignore it because I know we've got, you've got a lot of colours behind the scenes. So I know, like I've said, McAllister for me is up there. I just want to land on Darwin Nunes. I want people to stop slandering this guy. In my honest opinion, he's one of the best strikers out there in Europe, Darwin Nunes. And he's proving it. This season, I don't know if you guys have seen the stats, no other Premiership striker has scored more match-winning goals than Darwin Nunes. I want you guys just to just digest that one. And you can talk about that with your other colours. No other Premiership striker has scored more match-winning goals than Darwin Nunes this season. Come on. I okay. Think, I think it's time to start respecting that guy. Okay. Okay. Listen, Alexander, it's been lovely speaking to you, my bro. Uh, I'm glad you didn't. I'm glad you didn't. I'm glad you chose to ignore. I know, I, I know, Connell. I know, Connell. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, you agree, yeah. No, the option. man said, no, nah, the man said, I have three points. We stopped him on two. The man just landed his third point. Oh, why are you making point? it into like... something? Yeah, why are okay, you making okay, it into something, okay, bro? Okay, okay. Make it look nah. like man just dashed me off to the side in that, bro. <laughs> nah, man, the man just came in and he had three points. He got him off. That's it. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? I disagree Absolutely. with the third point as well, just so you know before you go. Come I want to say it behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. All right, man. You guys, I appreciate my appreciate the time, Grease and Connor. Listen, look hey, after yourself, my bro. Take care. All, right. all the best. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Yo, people in the studio, your your Ryan essays in the studio in the private chat, man. Put it in the YouTube chat. Uh, I, I'm not reading that. I'm not. I'm not referring to that. I'm giving you the order, and I'm gonna come back to the private chat. Um. So yeah, man, get involved in the interaction on here. The private chat is the private chat. It's just for the order. Whole heap of essays going on in the private chat. I, can't... I actually, I actually, um, I actually just got it on the list of your order because I uh -huh. know you're gonna say who's next, uh -huh. even though you've made the list. So that that way I can track it. So. Two rab, two rabs in the studio. Uh, one of the callers about to come on in the next, hopefully, whatever long it takes for the other callers. He says top five: Van Dyke, Salah, Trent, McAllister, Gomez, Allison. Shout out Endo, Jota, Nunes. 
So see, McAllister is fourth choice on his list. When I said yeah. McAllister is fourth choice, man, make it look like it was blasphemy. I'm just saying, and I'm just saying, I'm not <laughs> blasphemy. Man, I'm just saying. <laughs> My top five: Gomez, VVD, Salah, Maka, Nunes. Another guy, McAllister is fourth again. Coincidence? I think not. I'm just saying, man. For once, I disagree with Colonel Maka. Hasn't been our best player this season, but his consistency is wow. Some agreements for you. Uh, we forgot yeah, nobody yeah. expected Maka to play the six. He's mad versatile on top of everything true, else. True, true. None of your business. He says Maka has been brilliant for learning the blah, blah, blah. My player of the season initially was Allison up until November. Then Salah overtook her to AFCON. But VVD is the one for me. My captain. My captain, the man said, you know, nah, that's big. That's big. But it changes, though. That's the season. That's the roller coaster. You know, players coming into form, injury, in and out the team. It's expected. Da it's expected. Dustin, Dustin comes with the Darwin this season. 25 goals and assists. Goal and assist every 87 minutes played. That's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all. Ben That's says Allison, bad. Van Dyke, Nunes, Salah, McAllister. Mm. <sighs> we have a super Salah. chat from Mane, Mane has a run. He says Diaz didn't score assist in the last two games, but he deserves plaudits in the way he has carried the attack in our injury crisis. I, I hear this. I hear this. I've been frustrated with Diaz as well. I think Daza, you was talking about his output or something, but I hear it. But the guy has busted gut while Jota and Salah have been injured and out. He has been a And in ridiculous circumstances, if you think that goal against Luton, like he literally his dad, like Shh. was, it's like if, imagine any of us normals. And and that happening no. like and and, no. and you can for, for him to do what he's done. I I've so much respect for that guy, Absolutely. and I'm so glad to see his dad like there cheering him on when he scores and everything. It, it, nice. It's it's football. That that's why we love it, right? That's guys, why we love it for moments like that. Guys, we all need to lock in prayers, whatever religion, whatever God, lock in prayers. If you don't believe in a career lock in positive thoughts do something positive if we win the league this year it's going to be one of the stories so many subplots it's unreal i just remembered you just reminded me about the diaz subplot that beautiful story about his father and the father you see him celebrating in the away stands he was in the stands for the game i was at as well i didn't get a chance to meet him I met little Bobby Firmino's uh, dad at Crystal Palace last season, uh, but I wish I'm going to meet Luis Diaz's father. He, look, he looks like season. he'd be good fun. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, and and that's listen. the thing about Liverpool as well. Like, when, when, when I hate to talk about Manchester United. Well, no, I just hate Manchester United. Um, <laughs> but, like, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Like, like, they, didn't they win that? Did they win that cup last season? They did, didn't they? And like I, I remember, yeah. Flex like talking like nobody nobody gave a shit about it. No, they didn't because look at how we won it. Look at how we won it with our team, with our boys, with our kids. It's a and I'm not team. even talking about Chelsea. The, the, the stories that yes, the stories that come through. That's Liverpool. And that's why we love Liverpool. Because of stories. They, 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 like, we've been brought up with it, all of us, through the 80s and the 90s. The story of Liverpool is so much bigger than these people realise. You, you know, these come lately, Chelsea's, Manchester City. We have, and I hate, and I'm, I'm going to use the word, heritage. We've got it. We love our club. And Liverpool fans, and I love Liverpoolians, they are the most beautiful and most respectful people when i was there they were brilliant the guys in the bar everything i love liverpool I love mm. liverpool all right Daza. we're all gonna right. give you a couple of seconds to calm down after that amazing monologue <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. that's why i got you Daza. that's why i got you the amazing monologues when the passion comes through Daza. The Wolverhamptonarian living out in the USA. <laughs> Wolverhamptonarian. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about his love for Liverpool. I love him. Daz is the best. No, nah, you can't do a Daz like that, man. Yo, Daz. 
<laughs> it's all love, man. It's all love. It's the banter and the vibes that are calling people. Yeah, people, people. Ready, Listen man. to the colonel. When the colonel talks about vibes, he's talking about the calling show. The calling show. 350 of you guys in here. Smash the like if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. Are we being too emotional? Was Daz a tool hyped up? Is there a long way to go? Talk on your team. Seems to be a Liverpool orientated show today. We ain't complaining. We ain't moaning. It's up to you what you want to speak about. Um, Shane's back. Shane's next. Well, I know what Shane's going to speak about. Shane's a Liverpool man. So big up Shane. Shane, what are you saying? How are you doing? Are you on mute there, Shane? There we go. I'm good. There, there, we, go. there we are. There we are. What's up, guys? Hey, I'll be right back. Get out of here. Not much change, just the usual setting up agenda, objecting against Grizz. <laughs> Colonel, man, it's wild vibes. takes, wild takes picking today. Vibes. Listen, there's Gomez projected is gonna be vibes. A top, six, a top five DM in next season. Like, it's just wild, man. Listen, listen. Dare to DS, you, Gakpo Shane. DS chat. Like, Shane, don't let. Don't let his talking points be the basis of what you wanted to speak about. We've put it out there in the atmosphere. That's what the colonel does. So he's put it out in the atmosphere. As I said to, was it Alex I said it to? Yeah. Oh, no, no, G. No, I said it to G. You can choose to go with... No, no, it was Alex. We used like, because he said he had three points. Yeah, you can, you can yeah. argue yeah. against his, or you can have your own narrative. Whatever. We, we're, here. we're here. No, I'm going to respond to... To Colonel, because that <laughs> the Gomez thing is like Klopp's obviously doing it because we're, I mean, we're in crisis depleted, mode right, right now and we're depleted. That's what it is. Uh, it is what it is. I think he came into the job. I think we looked better though. The first half defensively, they got through a few times, but that second half, the game started opening up. It seemed mm -hmm. like I don't know, Endo just wasn't up to speed quick enough. Um, once he got on the field, but. The Diaz and Gakpo thing, man. Gakpo, I like Gakpo. I think he's mm -hmm. a good player. He's definitely fifth choice. And he's definitely been thrown around a bunch this season. That does hurt him. But even today, he's playing center forward. It's not like he doesn't know what he needs to do. He's dropping so deep. And he's allowing that forest back line just to sit and do nothing. And then when we do get the ball out to Diaz, I mean, it, it, it's literally like a 1v2, 1v3. Robertson's not really overlapping. The ball goes out to Elliott. He really has no one to play with. Gagpo, man, I just – either his style of play doesn't fit into how we're wanting to play because it's pretty clear now when we play with Nunez, like we need a striker who's going to stretch the back line. He's going to be physical. Gagpo just is not that. He needs to be on that left wing, and he needs to adapt to the system. And I don't – we're not giving him that opportunity, but even when he is coming in, I think he's struggling to kind of get up to speed. A lot of his goals have been goals were already up to one, three, one. And, you know, he, he he's tacked one on at the end. That's not to say it's not good, but I just, I have questions over Gakpo going forward. This was his time. You know what I mean? To, to start to show like Mo's out. Nunez was struggling. I, even in the final, he didn't look good. He looked poor. I thought, but God, Grizz, you're going to say something. I don't, I'm in a weird space with Gakpo. I really am. Because the Colonel know I'm not a fan of his, but I'm a supporter of Liverpool. So I yeah, because you're, you're trying to defend him. Because here's the thing, <laughs> I'm I'm his fan. You've never rated him. So usually I'm the one doing the defending, right? Hmm. The day it seemed like I kind of set you up because if you don't defend him now, it basically will be a panel of guys just like yo gap away in it. No, so I, I respect hear... your position a hundred percent by trying no, no. to be in a weird place. Because no, I, I, I know you don't what, rate I, him. No, no, I tell you what, I could easily do the pat myself on the back, and I'd say I told you guys this guy's not fit. But I have enjoyed his. I have enjoyed his game intelligence in being switched right, left, deep, playing as an eight, false nine. So I have to respect him for that. And I've also said, I know he hasn't shown it in the last couple of games by skewing a few shots, but he's actually a cold-blooded finisher. He's got a clean strike. Yeah, he hits a ball real well. Real well. No backlift. Boom. So I'm not giving up on Gakpo. 
like the colonel has after being his boy. But, and Shane, you're saying you're worried about him going forward. What do you mean by that? Like, like, as, like, as in worried about his position, his role, his status in the team, or you guys call it status, enough. his status in the enough. team. Is okay. he going to be good enough going forward? I mean, for what? most as coming a starting up, player, because he's a starting choice. player. He's a fifth choice a forward. He is fifth choice. Um, but even like, okay, so Jota, when Jota came in, you know, we bought him for what was it like 40, 40 million pound. Um, yeah. you know, no one expected him to come in right away and just start you know, taking over positions, but he came in, he did a job. He scored goals relentlessly. Diaz has come in and, you know, when Diaz got in there, he injected energy and pace into the side, allowed Mane to move centrally. Gakpo has come in and he's, he's still struggling to find his role. He's still struggling to, um, you know, really get into it. Even when he's on the ball, he just like his decision-making is kind of poor so far. And that could be because he's not getting enough game time, but you know, he, he, he's played 25, 30 games this year, close to like, you know, he does have 11 goals, but in all competitions, but again, a lot of those goals are against lower level sides. A lot of those goals are coming in um, kind of the garbage end of matches where we're already up to one, three, one. Um, so that's my concern over Gakpo is, and maybe a new manager next year completely changes his situation. And we could be, you know, praising him that he's the best winger on the team. I don't know, but I could see, you know, if he doesn't work out next year, he's gone. We're, um, we're, we're, we're talking about him because of the last like three games, right? That's why, because he he's, he's in there for Nunes, right? Or, or Jota. And we, we all miss Jota. So we're all, com we're, we're comparing him to Jota, right? We, we always knew that um, Gakpo was our, uh, fifth, fourth, fifth player to come off the bench. So that's what it was meant to be. So to play him from the start, like, yes, he's a good player, but he's not Jota. So that's that's where we're all, why we're all like, oh, oh, let's sell him next season. He's not very good. I'm not saying sell him. I don't think he's bad. I think he's a good player, but I just think he hasn't really kicked on. Look, D Diaz. I I think Diaz has been playing phenomenal the last few games. He hasn't been scoring goals, but what he brings to the team is something different that Gakpo doesn't. He brings attention. He draws players in. And with Gakpo, though, playing with Diaz is not a good form. It's not a good formula because Gakpo drops so deep, there's no one to stretch the team, which allows Diaz to then take his man on and try and beat him. And there's space in the middle for midfielders to pull uh, into the edge of the box. Gakpo drops so deep. And then when Diaz gets the ball, he looks up and he's got three fourth players in front of them so 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 hold on then before Daza, you want to come back in a colonel want to come back because we've got to keep it moving but great point and great call as usual shane because i was thinking about what colonel said earlier as well and the role he's playing and i remember colonel you're talking about he's dropping deep and then the play is so ahead of him so we were used to bobby used to play like that but then bobby was playing in a formation where we relied on Bobby's coming deep because we had the phenomenal wide strikers in Mane and Salah who were built for that formation. Diaz and whoever's playing on the right right now, well, usually Salah. If Salah's there, what I'm trying to say is Gakpo would suit that system more if we had Nunes and Salah playing on either flank. Would we suggest there's a chance that could work because they're goal scoring wide forwards whereas diaz and elliot they're not goal scorers lads and it's going to make the guy in the middle who is gakpo his game look different stroke poor stroke i would agree not with as that. effective you see where i'm going with this but that that's what we're saying that. gakpo's not our number one the forward right He's meant to come off the bench. He's meant to play against the lower. No, you teams. can't say it like that, Does You can't, like, you're taking it to a different context because I don't think you understood. Gakpo, for me, should have been, like, the starter over Nunes. So when you're saying he was meant to be that bench guy coming off. And and and, and he was. He was. He was a starter for yeah, but, players. Yeah, but, 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 but if we're being honest. When they're confident. 
Yeah, but but if we're being honest, and you notice what I just said, he's supposed to be a starter. And even when he did get the start, he didn't lit the team alight. He didn't take his opportunities. Now, if we're going to nitpick and say he didn't do it because he needs to play with a certain type of winger, that's a different conversation. When you're given the start, you have to be able to make an impact, be an outlet if you're in the front line. I get that. Right? Yeah, so if, if we're going Gakpo or Diaz, Diaz looking more exciting. Diaz is more impactful. I think that's the only word you didn't say today, Shane. Gakpo doesn't make that big of an impact. Elliot comes no, off yeah, the bench I, yeah, yeah, and yeah, have yeah, more of an that, impact. Yeah. Elliot comes off the bench and have more of an impact over my guy Gapo. Gapo is my guy, you know. When he got the start, he never made an impact in the team. We still relied on Nunes coming off the bench to make an impact. Then the manager looks at both of them and go, you know, Nunes is in a poor run of form, but he's the best guy to occupy the opposition defense. And what you we all it. say, Gapo <laughs> doesn't do that. And we see that. We call him. What do we say? Chaos. He causes backline chaos. Gakpo is easy to defend. And for me, being a big Gakpo fan, Grizz, you know, we don't have to go back how far I've been. A, bro, it's not cutting. He's not making an impact at the club. He's not. I, think about the game, Um, the last game. A kid came on and made more of an impact than Gakpo, for that, bro. There's for the last no three excuse games. for that. You're but just that's what I'm trying to last, say. No, I'm not last talking three games. about no, the last three games. It's been the whole games. season like that. Daz, that's what I'm trying to say, Daz. It's not been the last three games. I'm a big Gakpo fan. That's why I brought so, it up today because it's hurt me because I realized what everyone been seeing. No, not everyone. We were going because 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 a lot. Go on, go on, Daz. Dude, a kid came on and made more of an we, impact we, than Gakpo. When has Gakpo made we an impact? Going, Daz? Be honest. When was Gakpo made an impact? Right, I'm, I'm, impact? I'm not one of the. I'm I'm not one of those guys that can pick a uh, can pick a fixture out and tell you that he scored fifty. Oh, I think okay, people in the chat be telling that right. you can't. I think that exactly because people in the chat. Let us know when Gakpo's made an impact because mine and Daz's memory is not the best. As we seven, 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 much. You know, I did seven nil last season. That's the last season. That's what I'm trying to show yeah, you. Yeah, allow last season in Daz. He was one of the better Look players how far in the team last season back. that wasn't good enough. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do any season. I'm, 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 oh, I'm, <laughs> we were already you winning, got, per Shane's point. We were already what, winning. Why, 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 why are we arguing about our players, right? They're fucking awesome, right? No, we're having a debate. We're, we're, having, it, we're having a chat. It's not, it's not arguing, guys. Once again, you're missing the context. Gakpo is my guy. Ride or die. Gakpo is my guy. And I'm seeing something, and I'm like, bro, Grizz, is this what everybody been seeing? Shane saying the same thing. People been saying this. I come here in the street every week, and men's trying to tell me, yo, Gakpo ain't it. And I'm like, nah, Gakpo should be a starter. I'm defending the guy week in, week out. Today, I'm really seeing things. And I'm like, yo, was I blind we, to these things? Because he's not really we, been making a massive impact. We we said last week we'd give him we'd give him the shirt for the Carabao Cup final, right? We mm -hmm. We said that, right? Ahead of even if Nunes was fit, right? We we say no. On, I said that you man wasn't saying that. No, 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 no. no. I, I said that. No, I wouldn't say I, that. I, I, well, I I did. I you did. said I that. Said, that. Him, <laughs> I, I I did. I said give him the shirt, right? That's why all this week I've just been like, oh my goodness, come on, Gakpo, do something, please. Yeah, he's and been he's, and, and, and he's been dog shite this last three games, <laughs> but 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 before oh fuck. Oh, <laughs> that basically look, said what we, I've been saying. We, look, we're to, we're top of the bloody league, and he's one of our strikers. He's one of we our are. players. He's yeah, played in but... midfield. He's played right wing. He's played left wing. He's played uh, the false nine. He's played centre forward. What what more do you want from the young lad? And again, I go back to he's how old? Twenty four. 23 younger, young, he's yeah. still a young lad, come to a different country, and these guys have to develop and 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 learn and, and he has and will under someone this, this someone in the team, chat and will go forward. Someone in Sorry. the uh, someone in the chat earlier, and it was a channel member, so big up yourselves. I can't um a channel moderator, sorry, so I can't I should have brought it up. But Zuberi, bro, he's being overplayed this season. So more than more than this, the other person. Wait, you said, saying Gakpo's not been, been Yeah. So what the person been? was trying to say in the previous message, and I forgot to bring it up, was he's not used to playing in this intensity in this amount of games. He's come from a Dutch league, slower league, different type of attack. 
PSB most weeks bossing teams winning at Canter. I don't buy it. Okay. Grizz, the just, man's been here two it, seasons oh, I'm now. Just saying, I'm really saying, saying I don't buy it. Grizz, that's my guy at work. Up, I'm talking about yo, this guy is. I'm not. I wasn't cutting him slack. I was putting on the pedestal, saying yo. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Grizz, we're gonna do things, and he comes in, and yeah, he's he's played his part. You're right, does but. The point is, I'm not disrespecting. I'm just saying today, I have to accept the fact that he might be fifth choice. I've never accepted that. Today no, is he, the uh, first okay, day okay, I've been... that's, okay, so does... Okay, guys, we're going to move it on. But very quickly, does the fact that he's fifth choice change your conversation in your heads that you're having about this guy? Can you accept that he's fifth choice, guys, then? And then let him flow. Is he better than Minamino? We had this conversation, Colonel, last week. Mm, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Fifth choice. He's not a bad fifth choice. But, Gers, remember, it. for me, he was never fifth choice, though. But he is now. Yeah, is I don't he, think he's yeah, he he so yeah. we agree? Surprised. So can we agree that he costs 35 million odd, something like that, 40 million, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that? He's fifth so, choice, and he's a United. and he's a component, maybe not a vital component, but a component nevertheless in a team that Daza keeps reminding us is top of the league and in every competition, and every competition is strong. It's and already win one as well. Yeah, every competition well. strong so far. So therefore, give him some slack. Cut him some slack. Do you hold on? And, he's, think that... and he's played a thousand minutes of that. Do you think? Thinking this through, do you think next season would Dan's be a better choice to be fifth choice rather than oh, Gak? Guys, are we oh, oh Shane, get shout. out of here, man! No, 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 Please. there is shout. Yeah, no, no, See, no. That's no. a fair shout. <laughs> fifth choice. So tomorrow, guys, just a sneak preview. Um, Keith, who comes on Red Fellas at Goldmouth, he's gonna hype up Dan's tomorrow. I'm gonna be real with you because in the group WhatsApp, he was like, "Bring on Dan's, the game will change," and then we brought on Dan's. And we, I don't know if the game changed, but we've got the winner. And so hey, we got there, is, four extra there is an angle, <laughs> there is an angle, there is an angle of Dan's being promoted next season. People are saying over certain players like Gakpo. I'm uh, just saying get... uh, it's not my shout. I'm just saying there is, and Shane's just proved it. Go on, Shane, very quickly I'm just it on your Dan's propaganda. No, I just, I, Dan's looked good. I think uh, when he came on for the final, I think as a kid, you can see the raw talent there and his movement and his decision-making and his positioning. Now, fifth choice going forward, I mean, that's a discussion for much, much later and next season, preseason, and how he looks, all that stuff. Um, I think Gakpo overall for the price and what we paid, I think he should be playing better um, personally. Uh, you know, Minamino was bought for like 8 million pounds. Origi was like 10 Stayed there for a long time, and Arigi realistically as a cult hero and wasn't that good of a player. He Arigi popped up in the right like moments. 20. Was he twenty? I thought he was like ten, he, but he a long time like ago. 15, um, but yeah, overall, I didn't really want to talk about Gakpo today, but we did. So he got you. He is. drew you in. He got I gave me. you the opportunity. I gave you the opportunity to ignore him and make I just, your own point. I wanted he, to come he in here. He drew you. He done his. This is oh, why yeah. he's the colonel. We have to salute him from some time to time. This is why he's the colonel. <laughs> I just wanted to I wanted to big up Nunez. I think Nunez's injection of uh, impact there when he came on, great goal. Van Dyke is a player of the season, 1,000%. He's the number one mainstay in this team. Without Van Dyke, we do not even have a chance to be talking about winning the league. Um, and realistically, I wanted to talk about how Football Twitter is just freaking out over that eight minutes and how Arsenal and City fans just have lost their minds. Well, Shane, I, unfortunately, I know, you should have I run know. with that. So you've used up your minutes to to, to, to to argue with Colonel. But as usual, you've been amazing <laughs> and you've been brilliant. Uh, hope to speak to you next week. Go on. I got to get with you. I'll DM you or something on Twitter. I'm flying in to Liverpool um, for the City game. Hit me up. Message Will me. Do. All right. All look right. after yourself. Take care. All the best. Care, That's what I'm saying. People, you don't need to. Let me say, me. let me say, let me say, let me say. People, when Here you call it, when you call it, the show is the show, and you can come in and, and go any direction you want to go, you know, respectful, no, you know, 
just keep it within, keep it right, you know, keep it right. No, nothing weird, you know, just keep it right and flow. <laughs> Whatever you want to talk about. Whatever you want to talk about. Go ahead, keep bro. it right. <laughs> no, but you don't need to. What my point is, like, people, because you know what I mean? Because look, what we do before we bring in the show, before we bring in the coolers, we give our opinions on certain things, what we're feeling. And today, the Colonel woke up feeling Gakpo slander and Joe no, Gomez, no, 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 Joe no, no, Gomez no, no, propaganda. No, no, no. That's how he felt. You don't no. need to feel like that. <laughs> Grizz, you're not saying it you wrong. Know, you're not saying I'm it wrong. Right. I felt for the first time this season and the first time since signing Gakpo, I might have to accept that he's fifth choice. Once okay. again, this guy was never fifth choice for me. Today's the day, people. I'm just putting it out there. Okay, Grish, you, today I'm accepting Grish. he's fifth choice. Okay, I was Grish, making an Grish. argument. This guy's top three. Now I got to put him out to five. Grizz, you play you play football, right? You, mm -hmm. you play football as a kid, right? Mm -hmm. Zoops, I don't know if you did, right? You had times where you were good, you were bad, yeah, right? You had mm -hmm. times where you were like, I'm I'm better than everybody on this pitch. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all it is. That's why you have players. We we. We talked about Jota at the time. He's going like, yeah, let's let's maybe get seventy million for him and move him on. And and mm -hmm. then because he hasn't played for three games, we're like, oh, we miss Jota so much. And he's the best player in the world. And I, 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 I me and Grizz absolutely love Jota. But what I'm saying is, players go through um, confidence and, and, and times of uh, great. Look at Rashford. Look at Rashford, right? I hate to talk about Manchester United Wait, again because I hate Manchester United. Rashford wasn't Rashford one of the best players in the world about two years no, ago? No, never. There was no, there was never that. That that was a loose proper. And look at him. Look, look at him now. Listen, he's, um, he's, guys. Uh, nice, no, cool, guys. We're no, fourteen fine. away from two hundred and fifty likes. That's a bad boy ratio. Let's smash up the like button if you haven't. The people that have full respect, the people that have subscribed, full respect, and the people that have contributed in the chat and to the comments, full respect. Let's get up to 250 likes. That's nice. Uh, Colonel, who's next? Baida. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Baida. Yeah, yeah. Two rub, two rub. Yeah, yeah I saw him with the, uh, the champions and that. Okay, 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 okay. Two rub, welcome Man's to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Let me break it down. Oh, firstly, hi. How are we? <laughs> We're all right, man. No, we're, we're all right. right. We're all right. Yeah. Oh, oh, just left right. the police station. So, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I hope you've heard what I just said anyway, so I don't have to uh, repeat it. In terms of, you don't need to... Yeah, the floor is yours. How you doing? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn. So let me describe how I reacted to the goal. I, I mm. did coaching on Saturdays, had our game. I missed the game, so I could only watch the last 10. I was driving. Ah, oh, you casual. You casual. And, no, 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 stop it. Nah, nah, nah. Wait, 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 wait. Nah, nah. Before you nah, go, nah. Before you nah. go I have one question. I'm ruthless like that. Job, Some of us wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Take on, days off on. work. Hold on, hold okay, on. Hold on, let's all slow down. Time out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out, time out. This is hostility, quick. No, 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 no. I'm trying to defend you. I'm trying to defend you. I'm trying to defend you, yeah? Because you see what these men didn't do, bro. They didn't even quantify the stress you must have felt. Picking the game up with 10 minutes to go and your team ain't even winning yet. Listen, when, when you're best. working, I'm working, bro. I can't. So I'm checking. I'm, I'm like, oh, my voice. No, no. So I'll jump in the car quick. I'm like, boy, safe. Unlucky. We we drew today. I'm driving. I see that. I find a stream. I'm driving. It's frozen. Oh, my God. Corner. And it's frozen. Go. Bro, I almost crashed. Grizz, <laughs> you have to understand the pressure. Okay. Like, Grizz. Grizz. Okay, let me, Grizz. Okay, let me rewind. Let me rewind. Okay. 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 Uh, Turab, isn't it? I remember your name. Yeah, yes, bro. Yes, bro. My bro, Turab, if you was working and it was your job and yeah, you're earning bread for, for your family, then I take back everything that I said. My God, that's why I love you. But <laughs> see how I find out it's not work he and you're out there just ducking out. <laughs> and you're just follow ducking me. out Coach and you didn't watch Liverpool in the title running. Follow me, Coach Tura, Instagram. I'm a coach, bro. I do it on Saturdays. We're out here. Okay, right. no problem. Because then if you're earning bread for the family, then big up. I apologize. I've got, I got a wedding to pay for this summer, my bro. So you Big know up, I mean? bro. Big up, bro. Big up, bro. Right. Big up, bro. Right. Unless we digress. Thank you, my bro. Thank you. 
I don't, right, the first thing I want to say is watch back that goal, see who won the tackle for McAllister to play that ball. It was my guy, Endo. That's the first thing I'm going to say. Give him his plaudits. Because that these little things go underappreciated. Mm. Go watch the goal back. I, you can watch it whilst I talk, but people in the chat, watch it back. Endo won that ball, bro, for McAllister. I'm Guys, sorry. Did he, I, I don't remember. It's a blur. No, 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 no. You're, you're right. That's so one of the perks of watching it live, it. Innit? I can watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, so, <laughs> so, anyway, boys, so you know. that's the first thing. So, I know we're talking about Gakpo. I'm just going to quickly wrap up. He's a victim of his own versatility. That's the first thing I'm going to say. Oh, yeah, big facts. He's a victim of his versatility. And that is a problem in football, generally generally sometimes yeah. you're a victim because it's all about yeah, tactics yeah. and systems and and all of that stuff so management now they want to play the chess game he can fit there he can do a job there to negate this and complement this and all of that green chemistry stuff yeah i'm defending Gakpo to the end because for, for me i think his his time under clock is only a few months left boys let's just see what the new manager can get out of him because i feel like there's a player there i don't care if he's fifth choice i don't care if he's fourth choice everyone has contributed this season stop the flipping agendas stop the agendas stop your own like little biases every player has gone through rough spells every player has gone through good spells shut up this is a squad game it's a squad game and this is where i want to talk about club his squad management this season has been elite the way he has kept us in this i don't know if you guys remember it was a, around christmas time when salah had gone afcon i mentioned back then the pod season who stepped up everyone has stepped up everyone 19 goals nunez 14 goals jota 14 goals gapo 11 goals diaz 10 goals van dyke pops up with a goal joan pops up with a goal flipping everyone has chipped in so the first thing i'm going to say from the off was stop the agendas because the more agendas there are it's just not going to help us moving on i'm sorry whoever plays back them critique them after but until they're on the pitch, I'm sorry. Like players, like even Dan's coming on making an impact. Obviously, I haven't seen literally all the subs because obviously I'm gonna watch it back now. I've got uh, it's game of the day on Sky Sports. I've recorded. I'm gonna watch the whole back the whole ninety. But first thing I'm gonna say, dip agendas. Is out, it please. game of the day? Is it game yeah, of the I've, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've recorded it the whole ninety. Oh, yeah, I see, see that, I, I want to watch that. I want to watch that. I want to watch that last 25, 20 again. I'm watching the whole game. Because I couldn't it watch it with a calmness. Yeah. I. I I lost my rank, man. I lost my call so, today, man. Okay. Um, Dada, you the, said it. You said exactly what I've been thinking, but you just said it way better than me. <laughs> no, do you know what it is? I've been built up with so much emotion, boys. Like, for me, like, I've got the top on. It's a fellow I'm repping the top. I'm wearing, like, I said around the time, if we get through this spell and we are still top, I will believe. I believe now, boys. Which, I believe. which, which, are, are we through that spell? Which spell did you, I know, I remember you saying that spell, spell. It was when Salah had gone AFCON and Endo had gone AFCON. And we oh, had a what? few injuries. Trent had gone out, and players like Nunes, Jota, and Diaz had to step in. Remember, we were doing Diaz on the right, um, Jota up. Top I remember. And left I remember. Them. But what I want to ask you, hundred percent, I remember. But what I want to ask you is, which did you say up to the City game? If we're still on top, or did you? Yeah, mean yeah, after yeah, the city, yeah. Which spell did you? Up to the City game. I think I felt like if okay. we got through the period and we're mm -hmm. still top at City, I believe. And I will sing okay. it to the high heavens if we beat these men. I will sing it to the high heavens with with chess because because for me now, boys, for me today was even big. If we had drop points and we go into the city game second, oh, it's a it's an even more amplified game. And you know, Pep, you would have taken the draw. But now Pep has to has to come and win. He has to come and win. He's That's not going to very... win. That's a really good point because I, I, when I when I was thinking that, that, that's it, that's a draw. I was like, well, all we all we got to do is beat City, but that's a really good point. That like now Pep now, has to come now and they have yes. to win. Yeah, I didn't even. And yeah, they've never played point. Anfield second. Yeah, they've never yeah. had the Anfield yeah. game second, Here boys. Can I say no? Carry on. <laughs> 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 Months up, he's it, but none of us give none of us give a shit about this game on Thursday, do we? <laughs> like, no, no, for so... me, for me, boys, for me, we've got a chance here. We really do. We really do. And for me, it's very important we we wrap up 
um, Salah and Sobo and Trent in cotton wool, keep them warm, keep them fresh. If they can get some minutes in on Thursday, good, just for, you know, match sharpness and stuff. And the international are throwing, break. Are you throwing are you throwing all three into no. Man City next game if there's no participation on Thursday? Because you're saying no. wrap them up in cotton wool. Do you mean don't play them against Prague? Play no, them. no, no. He said play give them. them I'm saying play them. Oh, you sorry. need to give sorry. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I missed that. Play them, play them. Uh, I don't know if we're home or I think we are away, right? First leg. Right, first leg. Um, so yeah, get a good result, get them good minutes. But uh, I just want to talk McAllister, man. Are you starting them, them? Are you starting them? Or are you? It depends. We, we'll have to see what Klopp says over the next few weeks. Obviously, they know more than us. You know, medicine, medical. Team How would you and, like to play? Sharpness. How would you like to play? Ideally. Ideally. I don't think Trent will start the City game. I think Salah will. Forget Trent, man. Trent's gone. Trent's out for ages. I'm yeah, talking nah. about Sabozilai, Salah, and uh, Salah. Sabozilai, Salah, and Nunes. Nunes. Nunes, I'm starting. Um, Sobo. No. Salah, yes. Salah, yes. What are you Sorry. not saying? He'll rise to it. You know him. You know his team. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Uh, it, Salah will want to play. He will want Salah to play. Want, that's wants, not the point, though, is it? Salah, can I, can I, can I, what we do? I agree, but I, I want to know one thing, though. If you bring Sabazalai on Thursday and he comes on and does well, the opposition is the opposition, but he comes on, who assists one goal? That that you, you, that kind of change how you feel about him. You see yeah, what I'm trying to say? That's, that's yeah, why this is all like the now, reason why it? I'm saying that now is there's some men. It's still to be determined based on exactly. the minutes they get Thursday. Because Salah this can play point. Thursday. Yeah, Salah can play exactly. Thursday for 20 minutes and have a stink at the way you like. Exactly. He doesn't look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready. He doesn't look ready. So let's get through Thursday. Let's give yeah. who needs minutes minutes. And then after Thursday, we can know for sure because I don't want to just say certain things because, oh, and by the way, the Gakpo thing, it wasn't a hate on him. It was just, I have to now accept that he's no longer third choice. Like, as far as a starter to fifth, yeah. that's a, I've we've, never accepted it. We've, there, there is, we've, changed the, <laughs> we've changed the tone. There, there, no, with Gakpo, if we want to move on to that, boys, for me, whether you're, there have been phases in the season where people... Apart from Salah, he's obviously number one. There have been spells where Jota shouldn't have been in the team. There have been spells where Nunes shouldn't have been yeah. in the team. It's all about form and timing and the game and the magnitude. But people have very... It's hard in a season to quantify everything in the moment because you've got to really think back during and it's hard because we get distracted and lost in the moment. But if you really look in depth, there have been phases where players haven't played well and they have yeah. played well. You've got to... Be very balanced in how you have your agendas because Gakpo has stepped up, and I'm sorry. And the main things that he stepped up is the Carabao Cup, and we won the Carabao Cup, and that has yeah. given us the confidence to. Uh, so people have got to really, really think, really and truly about these things before they come across with their BS. To be fair, <laughs> as far as I'm Matt, aware. So Matt, as long Matt, as you, you support them, per- I've got no problem. You said it, you said it perfectly before the squad game. We it's have a to squad win. Game. We have to win four. Tri- well, we don't. We want to win four. Tri- yeah. We have to yeah. use the squad, and we need everybody. Don't forget. I know Salah bangs out stats, but at early season, at some point, we were all talking about: Is he playing that well? Is he playing that well? Is he doing that well? But it's just like it's Salah. He's, he's just got an assist. He's just got a goal. I didn't play very well there, did exactly. he? Who cares? Exactly. You know. <laughs> He contributed, and that's that's what Gakpo has done, and all of these players have done to be in the stage we're at going back again. What I said, Chris, top exactly. of the league, winners of the Carabao in the quarterfinals against the shit. Um, and the European Sparta Prague will 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 give it a go. And these boys, and with Klopp behind them, and I believe one of the best managers. In Ever. the world, I think even after slightly after Alex Ferguson, Alex Ferguson, Jurgen Klopp, pour moi. Oh wow! Big statement, big statement. That. That's I don't a agree massive with that, statement. But fair enough. 
Yeah, I think that's over the top, does. I got one question. In my lifetime, in my lifetime. Time. Yes, my brother. Yes, Colonel. Um, I agree with the, the squad management and rotation. I actually praised Klopp for that at the beginning of the season and all the way up. And then the Arsenal game happened. I'm only going to tell you what I heard because I'm not on the spaces, but other people are saying the Arsenal tactics got derailed because of the last minute changes, you know, with Bradley's um, dad passing. Yeah, of course. Uh, so, so that derailed him. But you yourself as a coach in those moments, you still can't just say, oh, because there's last minute changes. That's why you weren't at the top of your game and managing the tactics. And this is the thing. If you're and I'm up glad there, you are. Because that's the only game. So he's 99.9 .9 for me. And that 0 0.01 is that Arsenal game. That Arsenal and that was game, something that was out of his hands. That was out of his hands. What can he do? He's not a prick. He's not going to say Bradley still got to play. He's a human. Yeah. And, and I'm glad you raised it because, bro, but today I mentioned my game and I don't want to make it about me and my story, but it's just coaching, boys. You've got to, they're human. They are human. And I know we treat them as machines, but they are human. Like today, we had two dropouts because it's grassroots and that affected the team. We should have won today. Bradley, like you've said, he dropped out. It makes it up makes it the chemistry. It has an effect. But boys, that game and Spurs, apart from that... No, yeah, you know, we, we can't count yeah. Spurs. We can't count Spurs. So yeah. just the this Arsenal game. Yeah. No, so but, no, but you, you get point. what he's saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I'm... Um, subs everything boys i know i've rambled on a lot there's a big waiting list obviously you know i'll put it in the chat but McAllister, if he's not in your team of the season you're a prick <laughs> you spoke perfectly 35 million note. please allow it man what a bargain what a Sorry. bargain indeed to rub you've been fantastic Love. as per my friend look after Thank yourself you boys, yeah. hope your team Take shout out your team man shout out your team afc south or at afc south or west london we represent south or but it's open community browns asians whites whoever you are come down if you were in west london shout me at coach interrupt we're always looking for players boys come through there you go people shout yeah. out your instagram slowly so people can catch up i'll put it in the chat as well put it in the at, chat at coach turab go follow T -U -R -A -B. people Big up, big up your team. Yeah, and uh, one thing, bro, I'm going to have to say before I let you go. Don't watch yes, the game bro. and drive, bro. I pull over to the side. That oh, that stress yeah. while you're driving, bro. When when the like driving under the influence. When, driving when the under future... the influence of Liverpool is dangerous. Mm. Yeah, when the future in-laws are around yours and they're about to leave, you have to quickly come over, boys. <laughs> <laughs> so, take care. All the best. Yeah, take, nice take time, bro. Dave. Lovely chat, lovely chat. Con lovely Conroy's chat. in the building, so smash the likes, people. We've hit 250 oh, likes. Conroy. Let's see if we can get to 300 likes. That's mad. Mad ratio. I love a good ratio. Big up. People saying great call. Yeah, yeah he's an call. awesome guy. Up, Absolute awesome guy. Techers Dave's in the building. Says, Evening, lads, smash a like if Darwizzy is carrying us to hashtag 20. Woo! Uh oh. Uh -oh. I like that sound. Uh, people, we have. One hour, 50 minutes gone, and we have finally some spaces in the studio if you want to come through. The 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 order is already the order, but we have someone new as well to add to the order of sideline football. Um, you are after Quasi is next, Indian Scouser, RSI, Sean. No, Sean's gone. Sean's gone. So... So after RS, oh, sorry, I messed up in it. Let me do this again. Where's Bush? Where's Bush? Yeah, Bush is in the chat, people. Uh, uh, and we know he's triggering the chat. But when he comes up, you know what I mean? He turns into a bit of a, but anyway, let's see if he's got some chest today. Uh, Bush, your order will be revealed very soon. And sideline, let me just work it out. But let's get the next caller. Who's the next caller, Colonel? Uh, Quasi. Quasi is in the building, people. Bigger, 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 bigger. Good to see you, man. How you doing? He's saying Quasi. What man. Are you doing? Quasi, man. Hey, well, Liverpool, man. man. Supporting Liverpool is all for the week, man. I, I should... Quasi, you turned the game off. You turned the game no, off. No, I was the whole thing, but I will confess that I was cursing and streaming, and I should know better, knowing my team, that oh, you wait so till the last minute. Want. I was cursing and streaming. Oh, I so have to watch Quasi, because the... there's I two to... top reds I know. From the call-in show, the two of the toppest reds are Daza and Quasi. They are the two of the toppest reds I know. Well, let's add two rab as well now after yeah, today's two rab. call. Big so up to two rab. rab, Daza and Quasi. 
Me and Colonel, we play devil's advocate here and there. Facts. We switch That's up true. blade. We switch Very... blade. We switch forms. And, and you know three... what? Uh, we know what uh, the Colonel's favorite animal is, right? Chameleon. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So is it the Grace, is it, no, you are some guess, right you know? That's a guess. No, I'm not that this. I'm just saying the man he knows how I to. I don't got no like... chameleons, man. Don't let Quasi wind you up, man. Quasi. Is it chameleons? I was gonna, I was gonna say cougars or snakes. <laughs> no, nah, man. Everybody knows I got geckos, man. I don't know. geckos. <laughs> Quasi, I don't know what, what geckos I are. Know. Geckos yeah. are chameleons to me. Like, well, I don't know. Uh, you, here's what I want to know. Yes, sir. I don't want to make it too long, so I'm gonna, mm -hmm. be, I'm gonna say. What was your two biggest complaints watching the game? Because you say you was complaining a lot. I, I was screaming. And you have 90 minutes of complaint. Yeah. 90, so, what was it? 96 oh, minutes of complaint? Colonel, you want to go that angle? Okay. I like this. So I want to know. Uh, what, you the know, man is trying, he's trying to get me off my game. He knows uh, I have my notes ready. So he's trying to push me off my, you know, trying to get me off my track. But I'll answer that. I felt like we were towards the last, you know, the last 70, uh, after 75 minutes, the last 20 minutes, we were making errors, unforced errors, like Joey crossing the ball with his left foot and it hits a player and then they hit us on a counterattack, right? Those, oh, those little, yeah. yeah, those little, little unforced errors was, I'm like, come on. But I understand the mission. We have to know that Liverpool, this team have not had a cohesion in a long time. We have so many injuries. This manager is just chopping and changing whoever. So, you understand what is going, but as a Liverpool fan who wants to win, it, it gets into you. Be like, come on, what are we doing? You know. But like I said, I confess, I should know better. Liverpool, you have to wait till the last minute. Until the whistle is over, you can't complain. You just keep supporting, keep supporting, keep supporting. But one thing that I'm gonna say, <laughs> one thing I'm gonna say, now, uh, big up to Tehran because he has cut what I want to say into half. Gakpo, remember Gakpo coming off the preseason? He was our sharpest striker. He was scoring mm -hmm. goals in the preseason. And then the season starts. What does the manager does? Put him in midfield. Mm -hmm. He started him on midfield for quite a long time. And we have to understand, Gakpo have sacrificed his perfect, preferable position so that people like Nunes and Diaz get back on form. Remember, Diaz wasn't on form at the beginning of the season. He's just slowly getting back. Nunes was the chaos, but he was missing. And the manager that we have, the um, congratulations that we give to the manager, the big ups that we give to the manager is, he plays this guy into form all season. Everybody that has never been in form, he has played them into season. He, I mean, he played them into form. Jota, people wanted Jota go. Jota, I mean, Gaku is going only to watch idiots. Only idiots. <laughs> only idiots. Idiots wanted Jota gone. Let me repeat. Arsenal only only fans. No, only idiots. Arsenal fans wanted Jota gone. Arsenal Jota. fans wanted Jota gone. And okay. idiots. And idiots. Remember, Jota is the type of player that he could go through the game and you won't see what he does by putting a goal or two. I feel like that's how Gapo is. Right? But we can't have two types of players like that in a team because it gets frustrating. It's like, if he doesn't score, <clears throat> excuse me, you're like, what are you doing? Jota didn't score for about what eight months, if I quite remember. Mm -hmm. And then he started scoring, and he's you know he came in. But we have to give Jota, I mean Gakpo, some time. Remember when he moved to the right, he started playing a little bit better. There was more pep in his step, right? So maybe that middle is not his, like uh, Zuberi has been saying. Um, Diaz, people, what do people want to see of Diaz? That's all my question is. To me, it seems like the manager gives him instructions, and he does it very well. That's why the manager doesn't uh, sub him until the Manchester United game. So we have to let the man play his game. Eventually, he will do all that fancy tricks and then put the ball in the top corner. Other than that, I think Diaz is doing what Diaz is supposed to. That injury, those two injuries are very serious. People don't think so, but they are because that's his lateral movement. And his game is based on lateral movement, right? Uh, so I think some of the Gakpo criticism is too much. Because if you've been paying attention this whole season, most of these players were not informed. They entirely played themselves into form. So let's give Gapo some more time because he has not played where he needed to play. He has been a, a Swiss knife, shall I say? And that I think Turam said that also affects you because then you don't 
you don't solidify the position to be able to play where you want to play. Um, I want to say VVD is going to be the player of the season. And mm -hmm. for the history, if, if, if we if we win or lose, I mean, Henderson who? won it without we winning. So if Arsenal win the league, it won't be Rice? I mean, who in Arsenal has played better than VVD? If Arsenal, let me, I don't know, I don't know, there's an argument, but if Arsenal win... No, the no, 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 um, Quasi, I'm not Arsenal fans, cover your ears, Grizz, when, when we work, we're going to edit this out so Arsenal fans only can hear what I'm about to say. Yeah. Gabriel has been massive for them. Who? Gabriel in the box, he's been True. massive for True. them. I'll give him that. I'm That's not, I'm not, say. I'm not saying Gabriel over VVD. Mm. But when you ask the question, like, yo, who in the team would top them should they win the league? Right. So Gabriel has been no, but The reason why them. I put that opening statement mm -hmm. is if Arsenal win the league. Because if yeah, Arsenal but if he win wins the league, league, it'll be Gabriel over Rice. But what I'm but okay, no problem. That's fair. But what I'm saying is it will be an Arsenal player. I agree. I agree. I think, I agree though. I think, Even though I, think, I don't think so, I agree with what you're saying. You but you think they'll go you know, Rice? Yeah, no, no, I'm I think they'll give quasi... it to Oligard. I think they'll give it to Oligard because he's the guy. I was going to say Oligard, but I don't want to yeah, But guys, you can't much, disagree. How can you guys... But guys, if Arsenal win the league and mm -hmm. one of those said players, Rice, Odegaard, Gabriel, Saliba, if they... Well, there's a strong case for them to, to, mm -hmm. to be justified. We can't... I don't know. You guys are doing the top red thing again, saying, no, nah, it has to be a Liverpool player. Why? No. No, 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 I'm no, saying no. It, 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 I'm with you, but it's just not going to be your guy. So you said right. No, 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 I just put a name it's out there. Sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think it's so. Yeah. If I'm not going to be Odegaard, yeah. Uh -huh. So we're just saying everybody else except Rice. We're just going right. to want the Rice. That guy don't want that Basmati Rice, though. <laughs> <laughs> would, you, number, would you number? Would you guys still, number Quasi saying he'd still argue that it's I can still argue for VVD? I will argue yeah, for that's VVD, what I'm even though no, I, I, no, understand, I understand. I understand the argument. Top man. That's what I'm, I'm being. A, yes, yes, I'm being. I'm being. I'm being. I'm being I apologize. He's being but, a shameless one. He's saying even if Arsenal win the league, first I'm time in twenty shameless. years, yes, wherever, wherever, wherever. I, I think we're going to choose a Liverpool player to be player. Of the I, I think we for the first time, and I want the historians in the panel and historians in the chat. I think for the first time ever, we're going to have a defender win this thing twice. It can't Ooh, be Haaland. If Man City win, okay, let's just see. Okay, let's put scenarios. Mm -hmm. If Man City win the league, yeah, has there been a standout Man City that comes to our mind straight away? No. Nope. Well, if Haaland win the goal in boot again and yeah. break the record, because I swear he scored five goals. There's no way he's um, breaking the record, man. Are you lot mad? Well, well what I mean, off. like, he's let's behind. say he gets, let's let's say he gets thirty plus, because we know he can drop some hat trick. So let's mm -hmm. say he get thirty. And they win it, yeah. I can see them giving it to the guy who scores the most goal because that's how Messi got it over BVD with the Ballon d'Or. Right. There's well, always if this that guy can, if guy this guy who continues, goals. if this guy continues on the run that he's on, he's had, he has continues, a chance. This guy's been ridiculous, absolutely yeah. ridiculous. But Man City, no one else had stood stood out. If you if if you're talking about if buts and maybes, which you know I don't like to do, of course. Uh, and then uh, he said Foden there, but I think, and I don't know for a fact, but I think Alvarez has played every single game for City this season. But he's not been playing well. Yeah, no, he he's, hasn't. He hasn't he's, 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 no, he's no, been no, playing. No, no, no I think, I think. No, I think if you look, I, if you, I look, think he's been playing I, because. Um, Grealish and Doku has not been playing to the and, and even KDB and someone, was out, so they kind of two horn them in. Someone, 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 someone have a look at that for me. And someone have a look. Sure. Has I'm Paul, sure. sorry, has uh, Alvarez played every single or part or came on or had minutes in every single game? I, I don't. I, it definitely hasn't started every single game, but has he has he participated I, in every single I game? Think, Yo, I even if he has a city up. fan called in, it might have been me and Bilal here, Grizz, or it might have been me and you. A city fan called in and was like, Yo, I don't know what the hell Pep is I'm doing, trying him. to shoehorn Alvarez in here. Mm -hmm. So, so to your point, that's a city fan does, and I'm not saying you're right or wrong, I'm just saying, Thank I don't you. know much about, but I don't know much about city. But if a city mm -hmm. fan is telling me why we shoehorn him in, it's equivalent to oh, us shoehorning in that. But that doesn't mean you're playing well. No, he hasn't played well. He doesn't, yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
So right. you can play. You don't get the trophy for playing every minute because VVD would have gotten it. Yeah, well, think about like a player like, okay, I'm not saying he's Genie, but like Genie. He never Genie played every minute and deserved. Hendo got the trophy. How does that make sense now? Did we win the league that year? Or was it I mean, look, No, no, but the we, year Endo got the trophy. I'm Genie, just saying. I swear that was but the year that we didn't win the league. We're, 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 we're digressing. League. We're digressing. Let's get back on track. Yeah, yeah let's back yeah. on track. So yeah. If Man City, sorry, if Man City win the league, mm -hmm. does it have to be a Man City player? If Arsenal win the league, does it have to be an Arsenal player? Therefore, does it have to be a Liverpool winning the leagues type scenario for it to be given to a Liverpool? That's my... My Grace, let me ask you a question. Talking the point, year, talking the point. year that we uh, VVD won it, we won the Champions City won. Yeah, yeah, City won. Yeah, City won the league. Yeah, so so to your point, Grace, it doesn't matter. So that's what I'm it. saying. VVD, that, when I made that statement saying that a, a defender is going to win it twice, I wasn't talking about any other defender except the D defender, which is VVD. That's well, quite the point. Quasi, the point I was getting at was Arsenal wins it. Let me just quickly shut up one guy. He just keeps saying, why does Grizz think Arsenal will win the league? Where the fuck have I said I think Arsenal will win the league? Grizz, yeah, you can't get real. Yes, but Grizz thinks Arsenal win the league. Shut up, man. Stop polluting my chat with things I haven't said. I've said if Arsenal win the league, if City win the league, if I'm saying scenarios, talking points. Why are you worried about one thing, man? Weirdo. The best scenario, though, Quasi, is... Well, not best scenario, but the best argument would come from Arsenal winning it because, mm -hmm. like I said, their defender has been massive right. for them winning games. And I'm not talking about just on the defensive end. I'm talking Gabriel probably scored more goals than VVD. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying a defender is going to win it, that would be a massive shot for Gabriel to win it if Arsenal wins it. But if City should win it, it's easier for VVD to still win it. Mm -hmm. Arsenal fan may still bring up Gabriel, but Gabriel right. won't mean nothing if they don't win a trophy, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. No, that's Gabriel, Gabriel got a shout. Mm -hmm. but if he doesn't win anything, bro, that gets diminished. 100%. Yeah. Wrong person. Yeah. I it agree. shouldn't, mm -hmm. but it does. I agree with you. It does. Yeah. And uh, I know that the kind of brought Joey respect with that. I you think slip Joey, Joe today. You see no. Joey slip today. Jo Joey, Joey. <laughs> Joey needs more time in the midfield, and this guy has. Oh, you think he needs more time in he the midfield? He needs more time too? because people oh, don't. You, needs... you and Colonel been high fiving in the background. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna say he's gonna be the top five best in the world, like he said. But I'm just mm -hmm. saying, a, a lot of English players are gonna be sweating about their position in the Europe because Joey can go anywhere. Okay, I'm just saying, left back. Mm -hmm. Right back, mm -hmm. center back. English don't have that many good center backs. Midfield, defensive midfield. Who are you picking? Rice. Some games you don't need rice. Who you have? Trent. Mm -hmm. So Joey, Joey's club has put Joey into. You know he has made him very marketable. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. where you put him; he can be anywhere. And the fact that he's playing very well, we have to give him a shot. And the thing is, the, uh, the former caller said. We have to pick up the manager and the team for adhering to the instructions that the manager gave. Like today, you could tell everybody was tired. The team was disjointed. So Bosola, you could tell Sobosola, they told him, don't do too much because we don't want you to pull a muscle again. You just got there, you know? Um, so we, we, we have to pick up the team and we have to support them. We can't be picking who is our favorite player and say, okay, bond the rest of them because our favorite player is doing well. It doesn't work like that. Everybody has a play to, you know, a part to play. I mean, who would have thought Kelleher would be doing what Kelleher is doing? But uh, all right, Quasi. All don't right, worry, all I right. didn't mention your name. Why did you take it personal? Right. But because nah, uh, the Gampo thing, Gampo scored no, 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 the second no, no. goal. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't ignore, ignore. Yeah, the, yeah, ignore, no ignore, ignore. If you've said it, you've said it. It's no problem. But Kelleher needs to. No, no, Quasi. Kelleher yeah. needs to be spoken on. I'm Thank sorry. You. Kelleher is, needs it, to be. Oh, today he said he did another walk last year. Again, when I went outside, his whole on that. demeanor, his composure because cool, people that know, it. people that know that know or will be listening to me or watching me know mm -hmm. that I've always been a fan of his from the moment I set eyes on him. Mm -hmm. And he had a bit of a rough patch, mm -hmm. and certain man's jumped on his neck. Mm. But what you got to speak, what, what you have to be humble. You just have to raise your hands up. And, and sometimes you have to sometimes you have to speak on 
someone coming through a rough patch and shining mm -hmm. at the end at the other side now now i preface that with he's got a lot of shining to do because in the next couple of months he's there mm -hmm. especially like next week. he's not there so especially you know, next week especially next week and then mm -hmm. your europa games and every mm -hmm. game mm -hmm. like he's playing every single game now because mm -hmm. allison's injury is bad so but that has been our our our, our story though Players who are not informed gets 10 minutes there, two minutes there. Dan started with one minute, then five minutes, then 15, then 30. He scored two goals. So that's the manager and the players, you know. Um, by the way, they say Gakpo don't score important goals. Luton, he scored the second goal. I just want to put it out there. Oh, they, um, when you say they, who are you saying? You know, the people who were, who were saying that he only scored when after we won the game. I'm just saying, you know, okay. we don't mention names. We don't, no, we don't never we don't. mention names. The man took mention. off his camera quick time anyway, but still, <laughs> it is what it is. You know what I mean? So, um, but Chris, last time I was here, we said 10, 10 games and we win this thing. How many left? Oh, man. <laughs> and I think that was, what, four games ago? What it's we 11, so we got, 11, that's right. So we got 11 games to go. Mm -hmm. Now, at the time, I said 87 points wins us the league. Yes, sir. Now, I, I, I've changed my mind. How much? I think it's closer to 89, 90 points is going to be okay. needed. So that's so, what, nine, we need nine wins out of the 11? So is it, M dot says 12 games to go. No. For us, 11. Games. For us, 11. For us, exactly. Yeah. So, 11 games to go. Mm -hmm. How many wins do we need to get 90 points, people, in the chat? Let me know. Nine. Nine wins mm -hmm. to reach uh, to reach 90 points. Mm -hmm. So, let's just take the City 1 aside, right? When we come back from international... We cannot we take the City no, 1 I, aside. I, I understand. But I'm I just... Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay. If we lose to City, mm -hmm. then we need all. We have to win the rest. Nine wins still won't, might not be enough. The we nine win wins, the I think, in, have to include the City game. Or am mm -hmm. I wrong? I don't know. I might be wrong. Math say my strong point. Does us maths your strong point? Can you come in and help us here? Because then City can lose to us. You're asshole. on mute. <clears throat> you can't help shit if you're on mute. I'm I'm absolutely fantastic at maths. All right. Um, right. It it it. But it's quite simple. Go on. Beat Manchester City, we win the league. No, it's because not. we still have Arsenal, who are scoring a lot of goals. Guys, it's no, not. No, no. I know oh. this narrative's gonna run all week. Let me tell you guys now. Mm. All this week, we're gonna hear. If we beat City, we've won the league. Mm -mm. Man like Daza, I... man like Quasi, man like. People on social media, everyone's going to be saying, if we win City, mm. we win the league. I'm here to tell you now, mm. that's not the case. What 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 actually worries me is the fact that we've got bloody Manchester United. The, uh -huh. you know, Manchester United, I fucking hate them. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> away to Everton, I mean, I, I, away I to Man that. United, right. away to Aston Villa, away to West Ham. A way to Fulham. But Grace, you have to also understand yeah. that two of the Who three horse race plays each other mm. after that game. So if we beat City, City have to go to Arsenal. They both can't no, other win. Way around. Other way around. Oh, but, but either way, right? So think about it. If we beat City, mm -hmm. City have to, to beat be Arsenal. Arsenal. Mm -hmm. That is a dangerous thing for City. And they got Spurs. At the London Stadium. Grizz, if we beat City, we're winning the league, bro. Comfortably. Here's what I'm saying. We're winning it comfortably. Bro, City would have to beat Arsenal mm -hmm. to still be within touch and distance. City would be hoping we lose. Mm. When have City ever just hoped Liverpool lose? Go find me the season where City's right here. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lose. Are we so if we beat City? Mm -hmm. This week, what do we want in the uh, in the City Arsenal game? What do we want? A draw. We want Arsenal to beat them. 
Okay, oh, to get horses. to get CD out, to get CD okay, out. Two different answers. That's what, Grizz, I said this was a two okay. horse race, and it's us okay. and Arsenal. I see what you say. I see what you say. That's I'd rather have need. Arsenal chasing us than City chasing us. Mm. That's a match because Arsenal know. has to play Spurs at London, Chelsea, I think, at Stamford Bridge, and then Man U. Arsenal got the hardest. They had the hardest run to go. That's true. So I'd rather Boys. Arsenal beat City and then fumble their hard fixture. Boys, <laughs> boys, boys! What you're forgetting is we we beat Arsenal in the FA Cup, didn't we? And then went to their place again and lost. Mm. We've got to do that again against our fiercest rivals. We've Ooh, got to go to their United. place. We've got to go to their place in the FA Cup. Mm -hmm. that's a, if that's we a, win, did you and then we've got to play them again. Rival? Yeah. Like, did you say uh, our fiercest rival? That's it. In history, in history. Fiercest. He said they are our fiercest. They're not rivals fiercest. right now. They're fiercest rivals, though. Historical we have a we don't, But we don't fear. We've uh, You man fear you? Fiercest. No, on the club? No, not fear. Well, fiercest, fear. they're not fear. No, fiercest come with that fear factor. No. And you've got the English, factor. you've got your English dictionary settings wrong. I know you man speaking at Victorian English now. Yeah, we're speaking in Victorian English. Nothing there man fiercest you rivals. should scare you, bro. The occasion is that what's scaring you, man? No, so that's what people are worried. I'm not worried. You, no, no, you better worry about the occasion. They are worried about. The I'm occasion. sorry. I'm sorry. You man's weren't worried about Arsenal. We got battered. So sh please, Colonel and Quasi. Right. I, you guys were just Arsenal. Arsenal, Arsenal. We had circumstances. We had circumstances. Arsenal blew you guys away. We I'm turning neutral. Intense. So please, exactly. So we got Man United in the FA Cup. Are you going to blitz Man United in the FA Cup? Yes or no? Hold on, Daza. Yes or no? Are you going to beat Man United in the FA Cup? I think we'll beat them in the FA Cup too. Okay, quasi. Uh, uh, Colonel, are you going to beat them in the FA Cup? 100%. Who's okay, so 100%. So you think you're going to turn up, rock up to Old Trafford twice in three weeks? Fun, just bro. like we were, just like with Arsenal. We didn't do it at Arsenal. You think we're going to rock up to Old Trafford and beat them twice? Mm -hmm. Why not? So. No problem. No problem. No, what I evidence do you have we're not going to do no, it? I, that's what, I, didn't, I, I, I didn't give you evidence because of fact. I, I didn't give you evidence of fact. I gave you my opinion. Well, that's what I I'm said no problem. You can't, so I can't give you your, any evidence. My evidence. My evidence is our performances against the big six away from home this season. My mm -hmm. evidence is us freezing, sometimes playing the occasion as opposed to the team. My yeah. evidence is um, Man United have been shitter than us for the last eight, nine, ten years if not around last decade, but check our record against them. They beat us once. No, we've had them. We, we've, we've had stinky little draws in there when we shouldn't have. We went to Old no, Trafford with the one of the... Like the, we, the we, went to Old Trafford, we went to Old Trafford with one of the greatest Liverpool teams ever. The season that we lost one game all season, 99 points, and we went and drew there. Mm -hmm. My evidence is in our history, my brother. But, oh, the history, we've been pamming them on the clock. We just played him four yeah. months ago and it was nil nil. Three, yeah, sorry, yeah. about two months, about six weeks ago. It was the like that. game of football we've ever seen. And that's what they're out to do again. But again, again, remember, we said nine out of 11. So we can draw points. We can draw points, but those nine, just, one of those nine has, has to be City. Has to be City, yes. One of those nine has to be City. If we beat City, that's why it's very safe. If we beat City, you could draw points. Because it, Arsenal, it, it, Arsenal has to be on smoke. So, so we're talking mm -hmm. Spurs at home. We fumbled mm -hmm. the bag last season. I was there and I mm -hmm. felt like crying on the way back because I knew we fumbled <laughs> the bag. We should have won. That was the league title right there. Yep, I went to a wedding crying. 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. Spurs done a job on us. Mm -hmm. We got Spurs at home. Mm -hmm. We got Man City, of course, at home. Mm -hmm. We have Villa away. Mm -hmm. Villa are cooking this season. Mm -hmm. We have Fulham away. We ain't beaten them in a long time at Craven Cottage. Mm -hmm. A long time. We have West Ham away. Can mm -hmm. be tricky. Yeah. We have... Who's the other team we have away? So, this is... The, the, the oh, Aston Villa... Points. Yeah, the Aston Villa one doesn't worry me because it's, what, the last... Everton? The last, Everton is because we... we know that, that game has been United moved United away. The everything game has been moved out, so that gives us a break. Remember? What I'm saying is, yeah, for example, for mm -hmm. example, Everton have been fighting relegation for the last few seasons. Yeah. Yet, we've had a couple of stinky draws at Goodison Park as well. 
Mm. Football doesn't work like how yeah we're gonna rock up and we're gonna smash. No, no, no. We're not saying that. We just say that we have. No, you, guys on, gonna... you guys are. Bro, you guys are. You guys are saying we're no, rocking you're up taking to every out team. the context out of everything. I'm not. Tell, give me but the context. Need, but we need, nine, the we need nine games. We need nine games. Bro, so where are we getting the nine games? Zabari, real quick. Where are we getting the nine games? The context. Let me let me give him the context because I'm not doing the counting game thing with you and Grizz about how much. Bro, we're winning every game, bro. That's my energy. I'm not counting nothing. I'm not negotiating points. You're bringing up Everton. The man named Diving VVD Shin changed the game. Kicked mm -hmm. down Thiago. That mm. completely changed the game. You're not bringing up Everton when Pickford fumbled it. Origi nodded it in. VVD also gave up on that game. Mm. I'm not giving up on none of these games. We're not going to United and the man is going to sit back at Old Trafford when mm. they have an opportunity to ruin our quad winning season. They're mm. not going to come at us. They have to come at us. It's easy for them to come to Anfield, sit back, pop the bus, and leave with a point and celebrate it and pop red flares on the way back like they've won with a draw. They can't mm. do that at Old Trafford. They can't, bro. They're having a stinky season. They might have to make a statement, and we will read that statement and slap them. I can give you the scores right now, bro. It's doing it twice, though. It's doing it twice. What do you mean we doing it twice? We, we couldn't do it against. We couldn't do it against Arsenal. Because like, there was a reason, there was got, a simple we, We've got to go guys. to Old Trafford twice and smash. Let me paint twice. you. Let me paint you a picture. Let me That's paint you a picture, worry. guys. I've grown yeah, up. It's with fine. A, you a can brother, worry. You can worry. A Manchester I'm United. If we slap them in the league, team. these men will still have to go for it. Name mm -hmm. it a team that can come at us end to end, where you're like, "Oh, that's going to be tricky." That team doesn't exist. The only team that can beat us is the team that soak up pressure, hit us on the counter. Man, you cannot play like that twice. They don't have that luxury of a small team. That's the point I'm trying to get you, man, to see. Champions they don't League. have that luxury. Arsenal never sat back, soak up pressure, and, and hit us on the counter. They did that once, and that was at home. We were about five seconds away. Mm -hmm. Where's this? <laughs> we, we were five seconds away from drawing at Nottingham Forest mm -hmm. and Luton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you mans are sitting here so cocky. Really? Yeah, we, we were drawing to Luton and we were wait. five seconds away from drawing at Nottingham Forest, the two worst teams in the league. Can I say something real quick, Grace? No, you can take your time. Th this is what I said. I should have known better screaming and shouting, knowing that when it comes to Liverpool, you have to wait to the last whistle. Res resilience. Hashtag resilience. If we're gonna believe this manager is gonna win this league, we have to so we have to give that vibe to the team. There's a difference between having belief, mm -hmm. and there's a difference between <laughs> the, the having history. slightly I get you. delusional shouts for no, because... just for the sake of shouting. Now, in but, my opinion, in yes. my opinion, Colonel's mm -hmm. opinion, we're winning every game is delusional. Mm. No, that's belief. You might have doubts. That's what it is. No, I think Don't it's call bordering it delusional. Bordering. Nah, bro. I'm not calling you I delusional. Believe... No, no, bro. Bordering. I believe. It's called being a realist. No, 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 bro. You can spin this anyway, so you guys can look good. I'm gonna say it's plain as day. The the league start game one. I said we're winning a quad. That's what you I did. said. Hundred percent. You did. So I'm standing right here, and I'm I saying we're gonna go thing. over there and slap the team. I'm saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not deluded. I believe this from game one. You mm -hmm. men are now looking at the scenario and go, oh, boy, if we win nine games, oh, my God. Uh, uh, uh. So you guys have the doubt. No, because okay I still need to be doubtful. I'm a believer from day one. Mate, 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 it, it, look, I would have I stood with you mm -hmm. from day one, but look at the team. Look at the players right now that we've got. That's what, you're, that's what only, I'm saying, the, guys. You're looking at only, the circumstances there's only so and you're much. having doubt. So, there's only so, so much. I, these good boys. No, no. Sorry, Daz. Mm. No, I was going to say there's only so much these boys can do. It was once said by the the, the great Alan Hansen, uh, "You don't win anything with kids." Well, I, on, on this occasion, if the kids have got to go, I, I just don't. That's where we lose the league. But that's um, what. Please ahead, prove. Please. Okay, I'm going to go and then and then quasi the floor mm -hmm. is yours for the last couple of minutes because we've got some more callers on. Uh, in response to Colonel. I absolutely respect his opinion because he mm -hmm. has been on the quad from the start. He's been mm -hmm. saying we're going to win everything. Mm -hmm. and so so he's right. He's still believing, and that's belief. Right. So I, 
from the start said, I think we finish second. Mm. I think we win the Europa League and we've won the league. I said two trophies. We've won one trophy. I still got a chance to win one of the other two. Mm-hmm. And I said we finished second in the league. So according to Colonel's theory about initial belief and where you at now, I'm still the same. You hear me? I'm still mm-hmm. on track. Yeah. If we win the league, I'll be the happiest. I told you guys, I'm going to be mm-hmm. unbearable. I'm going to retire. <laughs> right? But that doesn't mean that's not delusional belief or being extra. I still believe we're going to finish second. I hope mm-hmm. and I support the team to finish first. I still believe we're going to win another trophy. And I hope that's the Europa League. It might mm-hmm. be the FA Cup. It might be neither. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying, to say that we're going to win every single game left, just in my opinion, is more on the delusional side than the real side of belief. Like believing... Of course, you go into every game winning, thinking you're going to win. Win every single game. It's a miracle, man. Yeah. That's what miracles the, happen, bro, when you the, believe. Yeah, how, man. how very rarely to have win, win. Go on. I, I mean, mean what? Fo- fo- football's, football is made of miracles. And, like, could you imagine Jurgen Klopp in his last season mm. winning the Premier League? and the other cup that he hasn't won which Uh he could have won with us winning every competition that he could have won with liverpool football club and we and 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 we didn't get to celebrate Uh the premier league fans in the stadium i mean i know i'm I'm from before so i wouldn't have been able to anyway but i mean Uh fans in the stadium imagine imagine that the, oh, oh God! He, he he said, didn't he? I'll I'll, t- I'll take a a, a, a a God, sorry, a parade. No, no. Just imagining imagine. that is uh, is wild. Like mm. imagining that, I agree with you. There's nothing like that. That ecstasy, mm. that feeling of elation, if that happens. I'm just trying to bring the conversation real and practical. We've got Slavia, Sparta, Prague Thursday. We've got mm. Man City on Sunday. Then we've got Man United in the cup. On Wednesday, I believe. Uh, Sunday. Uh, then you go on international break. Sorry, Sunday, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm saying come with be real. We've got four days. We've got one, two, three, four games in the next ten days. Yeah. Hit me with your predictions. Okay. So this is the reason why I have a belief in the manager. He said we got a reason to make excuse, but we're never gonna let that come into the dressing room. We don't talk about injuries. Next man up. Remember the last time we were here, we had that conversation. Next man up. And these kids have proven. I was listening on TalkSport to, uh, I think it was Clark's dad, who's saying that if you look at the kids, how excited and how sad they are that Klopp, I mean, they're very sad that Klopp is leaving. But it didn't affect them. It turned into a positive, where each kid wants to break their neck for this manager, including the players. So... We have to, until the like until, like today, until the last whistle, we have to have the belief that they're going to do it. The other team are struggling. They, you know today is our um, company versus Leicester City. Don't shoot, don't shoot. And he shoots the ball from almost half, year, half from the 50 yard out and scored the goal. Today, we put that pressure on them for them to realize that no matter what happens to Liverpool, they're still going to find a way to do something. So that is alone, it's pressure. They have injuries, we have injuries, Arsenal also have injuries. And yes, you are right, Grace. Football is sometimes delusional and sometimes realistic. You just have to find the middle, All right? In this middle, I think nine games is not far-fetched. Because guess what? The reason why I said if we were to just move the City game aside, we got two home games after the City game. So that means we got three home games coming up. Those three home games, you win that. Then you got, what, six more to go? And out of those six, you got, what, two of them is home? Come on, Grace. And this is the – to finish it off, are you on a uh, community? Yeah, also? yeah, sorry, amateur me. I'm here for it. I yeah. hear that, and I'm here for it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, as I said, we're here. I don't think we win every single game. I think the nine, then maybe we don't get nine, but CD and Arsenal are also going to draw points. Of course, I agree with you as well. You know, so maybe we might just need eight. 
Look, 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 look. This guy, I'm, I'm going to block him after now. Anyway, <laughs> block cause... him, block him. Yeah, yeah. Like... <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, hold on guy, one second. One second. Uh, well, no, not this one. Not this one. He said, oh. "Remember when Grizz shouted at me because I said, uh, look, remember when Grizz was shouting at me about saying he thinks Arsenal win?'" Again, I'm going to ask you, when the fuck have I said Arsenal winning the league? I'm going to ask you again, you dumb shit. <laughs> I'm cold like that. Even if it's my calling shines, my subscribers, I do what I want on my channel. Find me where I've said Arsenal win the league. Mm. I've said from day one, minute one, Man City win the league. But if Liverpool win the league. I'm going to celebrate the mo mostest. So shut your mouth. Stop trying shit in the comments. I just keep reading his shit in the comments. He's, I don't know what he's trying to achieve by me and uh, saying Arsenal after said Arsenal. But anyway. So I'll finish with this. I please. hear your theory. I yeah. hear your theory. Mm -hmm. And I like it. It's giving me positive vibes. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling better. I feel like a top red like Dazza. <laughs> yeah? Not quite. Yeah. But I'm, I'm getting there. Mm. Man City. You're saying, you're all saying, we win. We beat Man City. Mm -hmm. and then you're saying we have two home games after Man City in the league. Mm -hmm. Can you remind us who those two games uh, are against? Uh, Sheffield and Brentford. Sheffield United at Brentford. Mm -hmm. Are you sure they both we've got three home games in a row? Yep. In the league. I mean, we have an away away game to end. Yeah, that's it yeah. can't be. Can yep. it? Yeah. Let me no, right it's Brighton. Brighton. Oh, Brighton. Brighton. Sorry, Brighton and Brighton and Palace. Palace. Brighton and Palace at home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So our next two games after United are Brighton and Palace. Mm -hmm. No, no, home. no. After United, it's Palace. But before that, we play Brighton at home, Sheffield at home. And then we'll play United away. Then we'll come back for... um. Yeah, why are we confusing then? This is all confusing. Yeah, so he didn't get his back track. No, no. So you have Brighton. Games. Okay, so two games after City. So City, we have City, we have Brighton, then we have Sheffield. And then yeah. we go to Man U and then we come back to... Uh, no, but if we have Brighton and Sheffield, they have to be home because we've played both of those teams. That's already. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Right so, after we, so, he's right, so you're right then. Uh -huh. So Quasi is right. We have three games in a, ho in a row at home uh -huh. in the league. Wow, I didn't know that. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of hope. And then you go There's to... There's a Man lot of psychology in that, you know. Yes. Then that, you're thank right. Thank you. Thank you. So That's if what we I'm can... Because Brian will be tricky. Very tricky. We know Brian have got... A, a very tricky record with us. Mm -hmm. that even if we beat them, they put up a, they put a, big, up a fight. Fight. big, big fight. Big, big fight. God willing, Sheffield United, we 100% smash. Mm. Brighton will be tricky. If we get nine points out of the next three home games, mm -hmm. then listen to me. Listen That's to me. 72. <laughs> I'm with you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But get those nine points first, my yes. brother. Yes. Brian at home, here we go. Mark Khan's got it. Brian yeah. at home, Sheffield United home, Man United right. away, right. Palace home. Palace home. That's the league. And so, uh, with Sparta Prague in there as well. Um, yeah, Manchester, Sparta Prague right now. Manchester, Manchester, no, 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 no. Uh, Manchester United in the FA Cup. No, no this yeah, is... Uh, from I, what I, I, are you guys uh, uh, look Zuberi's going to be one on... Uh, he's not. Zuberi's going to want to go strong in the Cups because uh -huh. he wants the quad. I want the league. Only the league people. I can't explain to you. Aren't you one of those people that want to go to Dublin or wherever they in in bonus they... bonus? I'm, I I want that content, and this is for the Liverpool fans in the chat. But all the haters talking about oh eight minutes went over forty eight seconds, blah blah blah. Let them talk. It helps our documentary content. <laughs> we have a documentary coming up. Let them talk because what it does is, is support our documentary. That's all. Yeah, but about. yeah, but yeah, but the thing is, I, I'm not going to watch that documentary if we lose. So I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm well, one of those. We have. If we, have if we wins, win, yeah. If we win, no, no. If we win something, that mm -hmm. documentary is going to be the greatest. We already did. So, yeah. Quasi, my my suggest just don't go on that no. uh, Twitter thing. Just don't. I don't. I, I'm not. I'm. I'm right now. <laughs> I don't care about performance. Hashtag three points. That's all I go with. Hashtag three points. And I'm glad I'm saying on Grace Can Show because he has a big brand. And I want everybody to understand this. From now on, every time we play in a game and it's a league game, hashtag three points. That's all matters. However, we get it. I'll take that. We oh, that's a United we away that away as well. <laughs> So, yeah, Quasi, you thank chance. you so much. Quasi, you've been a legend as always, my brother. Always Big a pleasure speaking guys. to you. That's a good to see you. you. Kennel, good to see you again, man. Thank you. Take great. care, Quasi. Look after Quasi yourself, Bowl my TV. I appreciate you. Yeah, man. Go Take check care, out Quasi Bowl TV, people. All thank right. You. Big Bye. up.
I can't hang with you, man, too long. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I can't hang with both of you guys. I can only deal with one at a time. I'm being honest, Chris. Because I'm pulling out the weapons. I'm ready to kill you, man, are legislating. Like, Zabiri, you can't kill on a Saturday. I'm like, bro, I'm here for blood. I was the beer the last time they said I'm sorry. I don't care about none of that, man. We're going anywhere. We're picking up that win. We, and you men are doing the beer, but you know, historically, I don't care about that. I care about this season. Give me them four trophies. I'm I'm with you, man. I'm with you on that. I'm just just saying, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. You know what? I just want I know you don't want to. I just want the big one. We can put the other small ones to the side. No, I don't want to hear that. I want them all. Call me greedy. I want them all. I want to hear Indian I Scouts. Want I want to hear Indian Scouts. Let's hear what Indian Scouts are saying. He's been, he's been so patient in the building. Hope he's still there. He's awake. We know it's mad hours and mad times in up in Malaysia, is he? Is it Malaysia or Indonesia? Malaysia, isn't it? But he's here. We can see him. Indian Scouts, are you telling me? Uh, yeah. Are you guys good? Well, yeah, uh, good, hope man. you've been enjoying the show. Hope you've been watching it. Yeah, yeah, I've been listening throughout. Um, I think it's two hours and thirty minutes into the stream. What are you and, saying? Talk to me. Uh, What's your thoughts? Not, not, not Malaysia, not Indonesia. I'm in Thailand. <laughs> like, You'll get it wrong one day, Grace. You get it wrong. Close enough. Day. Close enough. Okay. I'm so sorry, my bro. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm so, so it's sorry. literally um 5 30 in the morning a.m i haven't slept you know <laughs> oh of course not of course not i'm so sorry okay no Did don't you... worry about it. <laughs> i'm so sorry okay cool 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 so, yeah Listen. i got i got my tea here and the energy drink still buzzing <laughs> from the win as well oh that's what i like <laughs> to see that's what i like to see that's what i like to see um, nice, nice i'm gonna i'm gonna very quickly no i'm gonna hear you out i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea as well we've got actually wow we ain't got long so i'm not gonna make it all right the floor is yours you've been patient and listening talk to me yes so firstly you can I'll talk scratch. about anything that we've waffled on about or you can bring <laughs> your own agenda and narrative yeah yeah for sure so yeah oh firstly smash up the likes people and big up to grizz zuberi and daza as well um so obviously Just we haven't one spoke. second one second before we go bush i know you're in the studio you do not you do not abuse any one of my panelists or callers so delete that comment and if you make a stupid comment like that ever again i will block you and never let you on my channel again i'm not like these other pussy old channels where you can speak and crap and chat shit about anyone or anything so when you come on this channel you respect the callers you respect everyone on here so do not talk like that on my channel. Sorry. Indian Scouts. Yeah, uh, don't worry about it. I don't I don't even know how I was, I was being um, shameless, by the way. But, I mean, if that's his opinion, I'm then... I'm him out anyway. <laughs> fuck him. Kick him out of the studio. I don't fuck around on my channel. Go on, sorry. I haven't said anything yet, though. I was about to start. But, yeah, anyways... um. Ignore, yeah. <laughs> Man predicted the future, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, anyways, so it's not been a great start, but floor is yours now, bro. bro. Go for it. <laughs> no, it's been a great day. Uh, mm -hmm. talking points, but you guys, you know, mainly touched on almost all of it because I had written <laughs> down about, you know, Joy G about uh, McAllister, about Darwin. We have shout out to all of them, man, and Virgil Van Dyke as well. I think even Kunate. I don't think anyone has said his name yet. I think he was immense yeah. as well. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Big shot. Big as shot. Well. Yeah, so so I think a lot of them, and obviously you guys spoke on Cody Gakpo as well, but I'm just going to talk through, you know, how it was for me, the experience watching the game. Mm -hmm. So normally, I watch the game outside with my mates, especially on a Saturday night, right? Because Sunday, it's difficult because I'm out with the family and Monday there's work again. So this time I wanted to stay home because I thought it was going to be a tricky game. I just want want to watch this game alone all my mates are like united fans so i would normally sit throughout the game until maybe like the last 10 minutes where i'll like stand up to watch it if it's still nil nil so this time i stood up since the 60th minute for the last <laughs> 30 minutes because i knew it was going to be one of those games again you know late winner and all that so literally when we got a corner you know i was down on my knees pause but 
I was just praying. I was literally praying, you know, I was praying <laughs> to God. And I was like, I, I was saying things that I think Daza mentioned, like, please, even Zubiri said, like, I'm going to change. I'm going to be a nice, better guy. You know, I was saying everything, you know, like, <laughs> and I was like, please, but I've done this so many times now and God always delivers. So I just respect, you know, to Amazing. God and <laughs> to our club as well, to our gaffer. So I'm absolutely buzzing. And as this guy, you know, Darvizy, man, I just had a feeling like I had a belief up until the very last second that if there's any team that can do it, it's us. And I think Grizz, you tweeted as well. Like there's few teams who can do it like us, like we do. And that's spot on because I don't see any other club would do the same thing. Like obviously Arsenal fans will Everyone, say, do you know what it is? Do you know what I said? I, I said something in the week as well. Like every club wins trophies, man. Not every club, sorry. There's a few clubs that win trophies. Yeah, but no one, no one has the amount of legacy type memories that this club has. And if I'm wrong, tell me about your club's iconic memories that leave legacies behind. That was just my point. And people can accept it or hate it or love it or take it. Do what you want with it. But yeah, man, it's, it's yeah, mad. So mentality monsters, man. That's what we do. But just a question, you know, I think it might be interesting since I think today's winner, if I'm not wrong, they're saying it's like our latest winner since they started recording this stat like back in 06, 07. And then we got the most wins in stoppage time under Klopp. I think it's 18 now. So where do you guys think this win today rank? Like, you know, are there any shout outs? I mean, there's 18, but like, you know, the one that comes straight to mind is Origi against Everton, Origi against Wolves. What what minute was the um the Mane goal? I think it was against West Ham. Against Villa? Took that header. Was it Villa? Villa. Villa. Yeah. That, that was yeah. Robbo, was, was it not Robbo? No, Robbo Mane was like a corner there. and 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 Mane nodded in. Was that the winner or that was just the equalizer? That was a winner. Robbo scored the equalizer, if I'm not wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's what Klopp yeah, Loiken did today, didn't they? That one comes to mind. Origi comes to mind. I don't know if I'm going to put this one up there, but now that you've mentioned it subconsciously, I might actually put it there now because you've mentioned it. Like, when we look back, I'm going to be like, yo, you remember when Darwin nodded that, you know, 96 bit winter But The way the season is going, I can see another one. It might not be the 96th or the 98th minute, but I can see another late, you know. Yeah, but I'm one almost on the strength against City. Remember the um, equalizer? It's not a winner. No, no, that was like, I think the 80th big. minute or something. Okay, okay. If if we go on to win the league, this will definitely be remembered. I think uh, one of the guys in the chat said this will be remembered. If, if, if Liverpool go on to win this league, 100%. that will be like, his name's in stone, like you know, it's for, forever. There was if the trip. There on. was the trip. How many? How many have we had, though, guys? How exactly. many have we had? Oh, that Trent, that Trent goal as well. Oh, we yeah. were one nil oh. down in the eighty yeah. sixth or seventh minute. Damn. Something like that. We've done it so many. Times. The Luis Diaz oh, last second season. equalizer against Luton. That was yeah, I think I think the Fulham game is. Is it yeah. it's the four three that we beat them at Anfield and Trent? Elliot versus Palace. I was there. We were mad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like Nunez against Newcastle as well. The two goals when he came on. Wow. But New... stop it, guys. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm almost on the same wavelength as Zubiri and the previous caller. And shout out to all the callers so far. But I'm close. I'm, I'm not there yet, but I'm close. I'm like right in the middle. But I would make us favorites if we beat City. I'll make us favorites. But I wouldn't say we'll definitely win it. Yeah, but so you're with me then? Yeah, yeah. You're I think you mentioned Zuber the big See, the thing time. is, you're not with Zuberi and, and the previous caller Quasi then. That means you're yeah, no, with I'm not me. there yet. Because I'm, and, and look, Colonel thinks we're going to win every single game and we've won the league, right? Daza keeps flip flopping. I don't know what side his ass is on. <laughs> Like sometimes um, he keeps um, saying it, 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 it's a Manchester United game. We beat we beat Man City. We'll 
probably do it. But it's that bloody Manchester United game. It's bugging you, isn't it? Like me, it's bugging me as yeah. well. So yeah. I'm with I'm with Indian Scouser. Whereas, as sorry, not whereas, I'm with Indian Scouser as far as if we beat Man City, I'd say we're the favourites. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah. Can, is that can that run? That's fair. I'll accept it today because <laughs> for the first time I've heard somebody actually say Liverpool are favourites to win the league. So if that that that, that is. That's so it. it is kind of a relief. You see what I'm trying to say? So all this time, even right now, Grizz, we're in the lead. People are saying City are favourites. So if it if it means moving to us being the favourites, I'll allow that. That's fair. Because that's the four. Do we go four points clear of City? Four if we points, win? bro. How we can? Yeah. Equal games played. Equal games played. Hopefully they drop tomorrow, though, but... <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, forget tomorrow. I'm back tomorrow, man. <laughs> they're, they're smashing. Just so you know, Grizz, not everybody's accepted it. I've accepted it. Well, I, I actually, if you remember, a couple of weeks I had, uh, I had uh, a, a draw for tomorrow. Don't believe that right now, but <laughs> I did two weeks ago. Say again, say again. Know. Sorry, I missed that. Say again, say again. Two weeks ago, I had a draw. I had a draw. Um, Manchester, you, <laughs> Manchester City, Manchester United. I had a no draw chance, one. no chance. I had no one, chance. I had one more. You never know, you of never course, know what, of course, but no, chance. you never know. Uh, McTominay, McSauce will turn up, and you know, <laughs> boom. I think Haaland's gonna get a hat trick, you know, he's my oh. fantasy captain as well. Um, well, he did nothing for my triple captain the other week, by the way, anyway, yeah. Um, but, so we're going Indian Scouts. So you were saying, so you you're in the boat of if we beat Man City, yeah. you think we become favourites. Then what do we need to do to convince you or start singing? We're gonna win the league. We're gonna win the league, and now you're gonna believe us. When are you gonna start singing that? Which oh, game? Man U? Which game? Is that at Man U or, or Man City? Once we smash it at OT. <laughs> See, he's talking Ooh, about that's the a good OT. place to sing it. That's See, a good place talking... to sing it, though. That's a good place to sing it. Yeah, you want to sing it at OT. All our, and all in, our in, roads... in the Prem, by the way, in the Prem, by the way. We the said prem, all right? road Not leads to OT, Grizz. Is that what you want to say? No no, no, what, no, 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 no. What I meant was all our mentalities are aligning in terms of we're saying we're going to start singing that song if we beat Man United at Old Trafford. Which game week is that, Dazza? Anyone know? People, guys, and the people in the chat? Uh, Which game week know. is that? 30. The game week 30. What, three weeks' time? Nah, because there's some prep games in there, so it might be like, um, it's uh, April 7th. Yeah, so yeah. So that's like a month from now, yeah, about four weeks. Yeah, yeah. If it's game week 30, then, then definitely I'm singing that with, you know, last eight games to go in the Prem. Really? But and, and, and no, and, it's 32. I swear it's, it's it's um, we'll have that after that game. We'll only have like game week uh, 33, uh, guys. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm oh, um, giving... saying Mitch is saying game week 31. No one knows yet, really. Can we? No, 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 it's, 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 it's 32. It's 32. It's 32. Okay, so in between, game week, it's not 33. Or not wait, wait, 31. I think I think everything yeah, game got pushed back and messed it up, you know. So, might be 30. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at fantasy football here. Okay, hold on, guys. You guys got me. You got me thinking now. All right. So what we're saying, Indian Scouts, is if we beat City, and then we're assuming, and football's a humble act, but okay, for the sake of assumptions, we're assuming we're going to beat Brighton at home and Sheffield United at home, which is our next two league games after Man City. That's three league games in a row. We're going to pick up nine points. Then we go away to Man United, guys. Is it away to Man United? Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying if we go to Man United away after picking up three wins out of three in the next three, which is Man City. I'm going to repeat. Man City, Brighton, Sheffield United at home. Three yeah. wins out of three. We march into Old Trafford. Good. How can you be fair for what I'm in asking it? the question, my G. I'm asking the question. Let me set the scenario, bro. Where you let me let me land. It's a big banana peel, isn't it, Daz? 
You win three games not, and then you win there. That's a big banana peel still. Do you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I was just looking at both Arsenal and Man City games. They are uh-huh. tough games. Man City have a... We're, we're, Man City have a... They have, they've got to play... No, I, I, think, I think City's current like fixtures, they're they have it to tough play. as well. They've I don't got think a, they have, guys. No, I think Arsenal away, got it. Away to Brighton, home to Villa. They've got to go away to Crystal Palace. Palace? <laughs> bogey team. Who the oh, Palace is Palace. their bogey team, Grizz? What are you saying? <laughs> yeah. Away to Tottenham. That could be tricky. Another home. one of the bogey teams. They got. Yeah, no, no, that could be tricky. Teams. Away to Tottenham's tasty. I like right. that. So we so we only need them if we beat them, we only need them to drop another three points if we're thinking we may not do man just the fucking knighted. Right. So, so let's so let's get get those points. I'm sorry, chat. I, I know go backwards. Chris is right. I can't, I can't. I may as well just stand yeah, on the fence. Right <laughs> <laughs> we're going to win you... the league. Wait, 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 wait. I got Grace. You still got that clip that we opened the show with. Give me two seconds. That. Give me two seconds. <laughs> you carry on. Let me find it. <laughs> but, 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 boys, all I'm saying though is if we beat City, the pressure they would be under is like no other season before because they don't have the same quality in depth. Like, remember, they got the Nunes guy. I think he's from Wolves. They got him. They don't really use him a lot. Who's that guy? Who we got here? Two drop points. Hey, it is. What? <laughs> no, nah, that what sent me, you know. <laughs> Man said what? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Did they score? Did they actually score? Man waiting for that check complete, you know. You got it. Check complete. Keep joking. <laughs> 99 minutes. <laughs> Man waiting for that check Fuck complete. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 Two drop point. It ain't easy. Big up Saeed every time, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know the funny thing is, I was actually gonna mention Saeed, like even if you didn't play that clip because you played in the beginning of the show. And I was gonna say, like, I think he literally just wanted to not like how you guys <laughs> big up brother Saeed, man. It's just funny because he purposely didn't go watch along for us. He was watching the other games, and yet we still won the game. So, I mean, Guys, let me tell you about this brother's record. He's been doing hate-alongs all season, <laughs> waiting for us to fall, fall, fall. Every game he does a watch-along, we win. Today, he didn't even do a Liverpool watch-along, but he thought he mentioned it because there was about 10 seconds to go. So he thought, I'm in the comfort zone here. I can finally say... Two Shoot off a loose straight. Easy. He, 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 he. <laughs> as soon as he said he ain't easy, what? Oh, thank you, Saeed, mate. Thank you so much. Never change, right? Never change. I never knew you were such a big Liverpool fan, Saeed. Oh, he's. I just see someone tweet me. Yeah, they so yo, pick up Saeed, uh, uh, Grizz, big up Saeed on the next big six show. Man's single handedly ch- making a charge for the title for Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is bad. Sorry, Saeed. Uh, no, nah, you gotta be in that um the last dance documentary though for sure. Yeah. That yeah. that great. That gotta be in the last dance documentary. I'm not watching that documentary if Saeed ain't yeah. in it. Oh, he's got my head hurting, bro. He's got my head hurting. Yeah, big upside. But listen, guys, um you guys have got me look. You, I don't think you guys have changed anything. I'm gonna be real. I'm a cold blooded. No, player. nothing has changed. No, no. We're, we're still in the same position. That is, in space. we're gonna win that. No, we're definitely going to win the league. Are you changing? Are, are you? <laughs> we beat Man City. No, that's just a copium statement. We, yeah, that's we a copium. Beat, yeah, that's. Can a I say something? Now, Daza, 
I don't think you're genuine. I think Colonel is adamant because he's been saying the same thing. You flip flopped, and Indian Scouts is like me. He's saying if he's giving, he's giving. What's the word? Um, what's the word when you're when you're waiting for something and then you're gonna believe? You know what I mean? It's late, guys. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't know but there's a great um, evidence uh, vibes trust but verify you trust yeah. but there's no verification yet so you're yeah. looking for verification evidence you need verification? To be, yeah and a bit more convinced you know like yeah i'm almost you there it's right gonna happen but you you just you can't verify yet so until then scenarios no not scenarios not confirmation there's another word that i'm looking for but look it is what it is we if we beat man united man city and i think it's a big if guys with the current state of our squad not at elite yeah. fitness in my humble opinion we need we need to have everyone on the a game to beat man city at home or if not everyone at least eight players yeah i don't think we've got everyone on the a game if we beat man city it'll be huge if we follow that up with sheffield united and brighton at home it's fucking huge and then we go to Old Trafford. And Daz is shook. And Daz is an experienced Liverpool supporter, guys. Let me tell you. Daz has been watching Liverpool for over 40 years. And if Daz is a bit... Mm, mm, and if Grizz is a bit... Mm, mm, trust me. It's a bit... Mm, mm. But if we pull away and pull out with three points from Old Trafford... You sing it then. You say you're singing it then. Hundred percent. I'm good. No more. Good. 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 Wait. 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 I don't want you to let it out right now because you said yeah, that you're terrible. Yeah. Spot. Yeah. I'm not gonna put you on the spot. I just want to know. Would you be reserved? You know, like when the goal score and you gotta wait for VAR to check it, so you kind of hold back the celebration a little bit. You 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 let out the initial one because you couldn't contain it, but then you're like, when you get it back. What I'm saying is you're going to be unbearable for win the league. But are you telling me after United, you're going to, it's going to start seeping out or you're going to actually wait till we get the trophy? So that's all I'm going to ask. I'm not, it, you understand what I'm saying though? Because you're going to be unbearable for win the league, but is it going to seep out after United game? No. Or you're going to hold it in and just, you know, have some class about you till it's confirmed. Because I'm going to be honest, man. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's not been a P word, yeah? I'm because I've, I've seen it all, guys. I've been through a load. 2013-14, when we played Chelsea at home, the whole Stevie G, I paid £500 for a away ticket to sit in the Chelsea end. Because those tickets were sold out. I couldn't get no tickets in the Liverpool end. I paid £500 back in them days, 2013 14, to sit in the Chelsea end because I was convinced we're going to win the league and I'm going to storm the pitch and we're going to celebrate like mad. And Stevie G slipped and we know the rest. And I cried, a grown ass man. I was in tears in the car back. And every, we all were, to be honest with you, except the driver. He held it strong. Big up. So I've seen it, bro. I've seen last second winners, Michael Thomas at Arsenal. I wasn't there, but that's my. I still got that in my memory. Eighty nine. It's up for grabs now. It's all up for grabs now. Daz, are you with me there? Are you there, we needed, it, my friend? You've, we you've, needed. You've spurred me on. Needed. You've spurred me on. This is this is that like, the story is written. It has we to be written. We needed. We needed to avoid defeat by two goals. Do you know what that means, people? To avoid Michael, defeat by two goals. Michael Thomas. So I've seen and been through it all. I have to stay classy. I have to wait until it's over for me to start singing. I ain't about that life to go early. Like my tweet went early today. You see my tweet. Yeah, so was it 10 <laughs> seconds too early? <laughs> so, you know, Indian Scouts, so when you got that corner, you was on your knees, pause, and, <laughs> and, begging, and begging for a goal. I decided yeah. to tweet saying, 
I knew this injury situation is going to cost us. And today is, is we've caught up. And then as soon as I finished the tweet, I sent tweet. And all I saw was Nunes. That was when my shirt went off. Yeah, <laughs> mine as well. And that, that oh. So, so, Colonel, back to your original question and point. Inside, I'm going to be glowing. The glow is going to be so bright that you're going to, it's going to be like Daz's brightness, glariness right now. What, <laughs> what you see like that. I'm going to be like that inside. <laughs> inside, I'm going to be glowing. But outside, outwardly, I'm going to be like you. I'm going to be calm. What did you say? The how did you describe how you watched the game? Oh, neutral, bro. Disconnected monk settings, just no monk emotion. Monk settings. Yeah, just no reaction, man. Monk settings. No that's reaction, me. bro. You know why? That's you know me. why I, I do the no reaction? Because like mm. Daza says, the, there's so many Liverpool moments where you just have to keep it in. You remember we was playing Real Madrid and Nunes did the little black heel and we had their men were down 2-0. Grizz, Grizz, I had my shulka on. I was bouncing, bro. I'm like, doing it on these all kinds of propaganda flying off. I, I, I think I immediately just started pouring whiskey and double fisting, yeah. meaning, meaning you got a uh, hard liquor straight. You see me at the bar, Grizz, and a beer in one hand. I didn't even remember what time of day it was. That's just the moment. And then from then, it's Vinny Juna, and then it's the it's five two, and I'm like. Then in there five two with with just two glasses of <laughs> alcohol that there's no party. There was absolutely no party. So for me now I'm just like you know let me just be neutral now and party at the end. I'm not gonna pour nothing, drink nothing until the party is over. So that's what, I just don't even know if that's it yet. Samuel sends in a super chat says reckon Jota will be back after an international break. Nah, no. Jota's not back for a few weeks still. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, and that's gonna that hurts me. If we had a full squad, I'd be far more confident than I am. I'm confident and I believe in my team and my squad and my manager because we perform miracles. Does as you're on mute. But if we had all our squad, I'd be I'd be I'd be much more confident because Jota's a killer. We win that game today easy with Jota's playing. By the way, I ju jump in real quick. Uh, something mm -hmm. I don't think we've spoken about tonight is Keller. We did. like. Uh, the, we, um, did. we did. Uh, you uh, went away for a little while. We bigged up Keller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, like, Kazi came and bigged him up. Uh, somebody else came and bigged him up. Yeah, no, he got. I think even Indian Scouts was mentioned. Yeah, I mentioned his name uh, as well. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I apologize, but yeah, I mean, yeah, just, I think, just think you can just go without the best goalkeeper in the world for the next ten games or seven games, whatever it's going to be, and just be like, yeah, okay, it's all right. We might still. We'd still uh, yeah, just say, yeah, go on, Chris. It's okay. Go on, no, no, you're, the floor is yeah, yours. I was going to say, I was gonna say uh, one last thing about, because we're on this topic now. I was going to say, I think it's not like about our upcoming fixtures. It's not really like fear of Mad United or, or Villa Park or wherever we go, Goodison Park. I think it's it's more PTSD because I think in the that's past, all it is. missing out yeah. by a point. I think it's I think it's the draws that, that, you know, that's been letting us down. Not even the defeats because when we lost to City, what? on one point twice we lost just one game can you imagine guys we, we could have been invincibles that season and you know won the champions league and the premier league at the same time and when we missed out again on the quadruple chasing season i think we lost only like two games i believe leicester and west ham from the top of my head and yeah i think it's more about that it's not like man united or the the occasion i think it's more of like just these draws, you know, like you rather win games, more games, like it, let's say six games, you rather win three, lose three than to draw all six. But again, when do you, when do we go into games thinking, oh, let's lose this because we'll win that instead of, you know, drawing and all that. We can't do that because we obviously want to win every single game. We go in with that mindset as Zuberi, you know, but I think yeah, it's not really the fear. I think it's more of what happened in the past. That's just me. But yeah, before I head out as well, just going to touch on Cody Gakpo. I'm not going to write him off yet because I think he is a good finisher. And obviously, he's like my fifth choice from all of our attackers, fourth or fifth. I think he is a better finisher than obviously um, Luis Diaz. I think we'll all agree on that. Jota is the best in the team, probably most second. But yeah, I'm not going to write him off yet. 
because you guys, you know, been talking about him all stream, about him playing in multiple positions and moving around. And people mentioned in the chat that, you know, it's hard for someone who's played so less games and just coming on now having to play like what three, four games in a week. So yeah, he's probably tired. I wouldn't just, you know, rule him out or just, yeah, write him off, man. Yeah. Not yet. Not as yet. Thank you. Listen, for mentioning bro, it. you've been amazing as usual. It's been a pleasure speaking to you as always. Um, yeah, always. I'm so sorry I had to, you know what? Next time I'm going to slightly cheat and get you on <laughs> earlier because I know it's late for you. But the, the, the demand, the studio was so full. And um, yeah, yeah. I had to put you in the order that everyone was waiting and came in. Um, but I'm yeah, gonna, man, I can wait. It's a Sunday. Gonna, so. No, no, no. I'm going to cheat next time and get you in earlier because I know what time it is in your country. So big up yourself. Yeah, uh, big thank up. Thank you very much. Uh, big up Grace, what, big up chat. Grace, what country? What country? <laughs> hey? What country? Yeah, man said, hey? <laughs> Indonesia, right? Indonesia, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Listen, hey? Eh? Yeah, big up you guys, man. Big up, big up. Big Smash up yourself. You. Take care. Yeah, All the best. Yo, man. It's, it's, uh, I've enjoyed today. So, look, let, let, uh, oh, we, we still got one more caller left. Guys, Mohammed and... Uh, there was another guy as well. Sorry, no time, man, today. I, I, I'm so sorry. I appreciate you. Um, I know it was Thailand, man. I was joking, Indonesia. You know what I mean? Um, but big up yourselves. Um, Nicholas says, oh, man, mods, get on on this. Uh, block these uh, things coming in now, man. We're going to have to go in a minute, man. Shit. Ooh, I forgot to put you on slow mode. All these things are going to come in now, and weirdos. Pots are going to come in. Liverpool take you up to the highest points of ecstasy and down into the depths of heartbreak. It ain't easy. But like the bone crusher, I ain't ever scared. Mm. I like that last piece. I like mm. that last piece. Nice. Let's get the last caller in because we've gone over three hours and it's, it's way, way past my bedtime. So we need to get in the last caller. RSI, welcome to the stream. How are you? Hi, Chris. How are you? Hi, Zubir. Hi, this. Hey, brother. We're good, bro. We're good. We're good. We're good. What's happening? Ah, good. Uh, excellent. Can you hear me right, Chris? Yeah, man. Yeah. I had a bit with my father. Uh, he is a Man United fan. He bit for oh, 5,000 yeah. for me today. Uh, oh, we yeah. will draw the game. I almost uh, transferred the money to him. After seeing the Nunes goal, he transferred to me. Ah, uh, it's for it's mad fun, man. Really, it's mad fun. Ah, uh, see, it's more it's four a.m. here in India. I've seen uh, from uh, one thirty to I'm I'm seen all the calls today. All all points are has been talked already. There is no fresh points there. But I want to give credit to Vendak and McAllister, man. Really, when Trent was not there, McAllister was the main man for creativity. He is the only man who, who can create chances. And the chance was he's not with the right foot also. It's left foot. And he was falling down. He's taken the ball and giving with left foot. Uh, excellent man. Grisa, you asked about the celebration of who you think. I will celebrate when we win at West Ham. Oh, when you win at West Ham, that's your one, West yeah? Ham. Yeah, okay. yeah, yes. Go and explain. Yeah, because uh, uh, see, in April, City have only one tough fixture. That is Spurs. Only one. They have Luton, Crystal Palace, uh, uh, another fixture also, another two fixtures also is there. But there you have, they don't draw points. I think only draw points on Spurs. That is where a West Ham game will come. Fulham and West Ham, the two perfect fixtures, I think, for us. Two away fixtures, right? Uh, two away fixtures. Fulham and West Ham, both back to back. Uh, do you Ooh. know, Grisa? After 1984, today we, we beat uh, Nottingham Forest after 40 years at, at their home. Exactly. After 40 years, we beat them. I, 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 why, I'm see, telling you, we haven't got a good record against Fulham people. Uh, yeah, I know we, that, I know we, I know we got through in the League Cup final, yes. but we didn't beat them. 
We didn't beat them in their, yes. in their ground. Look, 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 look. See, We're all about breaking records this season, aren't we? we yes, didn't that's have a, a good we, point. We didn't, we didn't, yeah, yes, we, had, yes. we had never beaten Nottingham Forest in the Premier League. Had yes. A while. Uh, in their home, after 40 years, we beaten. This is the first time. Since 1980. This is the first time we beat them. Let's let's break some more records. Let's smash them on the floor. See, let's just see I am why I am not taking Fulham lightly worse. See, we paid Fulham two uh, two times this year. See, three times. They given three times tough fixtures, man. At Anfield, we win four three. At uh, at uh, Carabao Cup also, they given tough fixtures. See, Fulham, Marco Silva teams always give tough fixtures, man. He is a real, really good coach. Ah, uh, and West Ham also see. We don't know how straight was West Ham. Now they are playing good. Paqueta mm. is excellent. Now they are playing Paqueta's again. Back, they are playing back in form. Uh, yes, Bones back in form. B- yes. Ah, uh, that is why saying. Yeah. See, United game was okay. We will take that. But Zuberi, I will. Ah, uh, I will celebrate and I will pray. See, because I have most hated fan of Liverpool. My dad. Really, he he was waiting. He saw uh, he saw most Man United success from 1980s to 70s. He 2000 he saw. That is what uh, what I'm saying was from West. If we win at West Ham Stadium, that is it, man. Because we have to have six to seven points buffer. Then we can celebrate. Because the last two fixtures were Aston Villa and Wolves. Okay, Wolves at home, fine. Aston Villa is not easy. That is what I'm saying. So you want a six-point lead before we go into our last two games? Ah, uh, yes, yes, six. See, because see, see, Chris, I think we we Are don't hearing? win title. We don't win title. Oh, uh, oh, uh, on a uh, if we win or lose, but we if we lose, we lose title at Man City. Do you agree with that? Mm-hmm. If you win, okay, fine. But if you lose, there is uh, there will be huge chance of uh, uh, spoiling our title because we will be two points back. So, so that is my point. Sorry. So I don't know if I just missed that. So you're saying if we if we don't beat Manchester City, so are you with like me and the Colonel? Like if we beat Manchester City, we're gonna win the league. Or oh, what I'm saying like is that. that- See if you if you beat Manchester City, okay, fine. Ah, uh, okay, that is a good start. We will get three point. We will get four points late. Okay, then if we if we, the, then then okay, good start. Okay, we are going there. I will start. Okay, oh uh, good, we can go there. But I uh, I'm not celebrating. Yes, we, we we won the title there. No, what I'm saying was we go there. Ah, uh, once we will get to six to seven points, then we can celebrate. I, that I mean, is what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, okay. But, you, but you're saying a few obvious things there. Obviously, if we've got a six, seven point lead with two games to go, <laughs> then if you don't celebrate, you're an idiot. No, no, uh, yeah, no. That is what you say. Uh, okay, fine. That is, but see, Grizz, you know, <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, see, 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 Grizz, you're very. You have look, seen look, City, look, I remember. I remember speaking to you. <laughs> I think I remember speaking Last to you about two months. About two uh, months ago, when uh, you was yeah, very one, negative, one month back. Remember, you was very down. Uh, not you was very negative. Not negative. Ve- See, not negative. But I am. I want situation under control, Chris. No, no, you was negative. That you is was negative. No, 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 no. You was negative. So first, so humble sense. yourself. No, no, no. First, humble yourself and say you was wrong about this team. No, 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 no. I'm oh, also you're not going to admit because I remember yeah. now you was like this team we can't do this I don't believe in this player I can't remember the exact no, no. points you made see, but you was very see, negative. See, Grizz, see, see, Grizz, I, I accept only one. I trusted Klopp. See, I came two times. Uh, you, I you, came. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. I remember you now. No, 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 no. I'm going to find Grizz, it. Uh, I'm going to find it. And I'm going to play you it back to it. you, and you're going to go red in the face. So before I do no, that, Grisa. just say yes. I didn't believe then, uh, no, no, but no, I'm no, a believer Grisa. then. See, well, I speak in. Uh, uh, unfortunately, my grandmother is passed away. I came also. Yeah, uh, two to three shows. You were not there. I came. 
Uh, too late then, I we started winning then. I'm talking about, about two, three months ago, I remember now clearly you was very negative. Do you uh, accept then, you was very negative? Uh, see, see, I'm saying, see, when I am negative worse, uh, we lost at Tottenham, right? Yeah, we but that's the, point, that's the point where you're supposed to support. So answer my question. You're not answering my question. Mm. Do you accept you was negative? Whether I we one see, lost or two, means, one we lost. Uh, see, negative means uh, I I thought okay, title is done. Uh, no better squad. See, but negative means I don't want to lose game. That is my my frustration. No, 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 I no, don't no, want no. to lose no, game. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you carry on. Listen to what I'm saying. When we lose. And you came on. I don't even think we lost. I think we joined. You said title is done. I don't think we have any chance. No, no, no. No, 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 Gris. Definitely no. Because I have seen title races. See, I am supporting from 2015 to 15. <laughs> I have seen title races. No, it will be not done on December or November or uh, October. It will be not done. I know. <laughs> when will title is, I know. Yo. I know. Yeah. Wait a minute. I know. Wait a minute. 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 I know the last couple of times you came on, you were you were positive, but I think what Gris is saying, the last time he you spoke to him was the last time I negative. spoke to you, I've remembered everything now, and I've got a memory of a elephant. Uh, wait, no, I, no, see, no. Gris. I got the memory. No, no, no. I got the memory. And I Do got you remember? This, right? I'm going to be honest, Gris. I'm going to be honest, man. You're trying to wrongfully implicate RSI. I, I've got it on. I've got the tapes. Gris. Uh, you Gris, can see Gris. Gris. No, see, Gris, I never no, said no. No, Gris, no, no, Gris, no, no. I, right, right, I got you. I got you. No, no, no. Grizz, you yeah. know my memory is short. Grizz, he I've came got in. the tapes. Grizz, he yes, came Gris, in. Yes, you can check it. I've checked wait, wait, wait. it. I've checked nah, the Gris, tapes. He came can, in let's take and it. he was just not going over the top. No. Remember, yes. Grizz, I'm always an over the top guy on the show. I'm always like, yo, I'm going to win everything. But he came in and he was like, look, I'm not going to go over the top. No. See, Gris, see you negative. can check it. See, 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 see. One minute, Grizz, you may all uh, see. We, I came before uh, Man United and uh, Liverpool play at Anfield. All are saying 3 nil, 4 nil, 5 nil. But uh, what I say, professional, I want to get from there. Points is important. You can check the tapes. See, I am regular follower of Big Six I've, and you. I've, I've, I'm I've the member of the, the show. I, I've checked the tapes. I remember when I, what I'm referring to was about two to three months ago where you was very, and I said, whoa, why are you so negative? You was like, you know, from what I've oh, seen. Not about... See, see, see. Uh, one minute, I no, want Chris, to you're going to have to play the tapes now, man. RSI, I might be pulling your leg. I don't know. I'm going to check hey, no, no, the tapes, no. but see, I, I believe... See. My brother, my see, brother, we got to go. It's, 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 it's three hours, yeah. 15 minutes into the show. I'm winding you up. I like winding see, you up. One, one, uh, last one question, Chris. Go see, all are saying the player of the season, these are the right. But if uh, we continue like this, we, if Trent or Salah starts from, they will ball say in contention, right? Who? Trent and Salah. For player of the season? Yeah. No, Salah no, already Salah has maybe, goals. Maybe, not Trent. Salah maybe, but when, I can't see ah, Trent. Ah, yeah, sorry, what Trent... He's saying if we win Trent, the league, okay. will Trent or Salah be in the player of the season com uh, conversation? If they, if yeah, when they come back in and if, start if, performing, if, if, yeah, yeah. If, if Salah scores like another fifteen goals, yeah, I can see the, Salah, but Trent, it, yeah. it, it, nah. it wouldn't be Trent because he wasn't consistent, yeah. um, throughout the season. Yeah. We've much we've, more, we've much all... more, much more Van Dyke. Yeah, we've all agreed. Uh, yeah, we really, yes, we really, yeah. Hmm. We'll RSI, my brother. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, and, I may be, uh, I, I, may be I may be, I may be winding you up. I don't know. I will check the tape. No, no, no. I see, I will be. See, you can check it because I will be. Uh, I will come to Big Six. And do me I a have favor. Special message to Said. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Forget yeah. the Big Six, man. Sort them. Can you come and support my channel, please? Big Six, Big Six. I remember. Right, listen to me. I'm a member okay, of I'm, your I'm channel. Joking. I'm joking. I'm winding you up. Okay, listen to me. Okay, do me a favor. Because obviously yeah. you will remember when you've been on the show before. Find yes. me the find me the conversation that I'm talking about. Not when Daz is saying, because Daz remembers you last couple of times and you've been p positive and jumping on the bad rug and we're winning. So you're happy. Find me the tapes when Liverpool needed your support and your belief and you didn't believe. Find me the two Definitely. Ago. Find me that clip 
and send it to me on my on any of my uh, Insta. social media or bring it here wherever send it to me and uh, let me run through the tapes and then we'll get back to you you can check it right. gris no problem i am fine right. i will send it to you all right take care of yourself thank you gris bye all right. take care bye bye all of you see you later bye. thank you bye bye if nice i'm in guy. court and i look over to the left <laughs> and you're the prosecutor <laughs> gris Yeah, but you yeah. got man to confess the crimes he didn't commit. Grit says, <laughs> "Yeah, but <laughs> Colonel, <laughs> Colonel, Colonel, what happened to stand by your man? Which one? Dude, Grizz was doing the bad cop thing. You not seen Grizz talk about <laughs> you, you stand you by your boy. Well, you stand by your pull. boy Grizz card, and you if even if he's talking nah, shit, man, you go nah, like, that's yeah, a, nah, that's a, nah, 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 you gotta call a, me out." You go, nah, call me you go call me out. I'm, I'm I, had him, I had no. him. I had him. I had the kid. The kid. Nazza. I felt I'm bad for it. Guy. I was I'm a stand up like, guy. This is a community man. The last man. couple of times, he, he, he was really quite positive. Now he's been like, positive. I had that months before, and I was like, Chris is talking about it. Before, no, but I'd, I'd, oh man, anyway, hold on, 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 hold on. Oh. you know, you know, you guys know Ben, yeah, he's been the clown, he's been the he's been the he's been the joker in the in the pack. You guys know he's been chatting shit all night long, and look at that, now he's gonna get blocked off my channel. Chris talking some shit there, you know, he's been slandering, and I've been warning him. Show class, show respect, show class. First, he said Chris wants Arsenal to win. Chris saying Arsenal when I didn't ever say Arsenal gonna win the league. Now I'm gonna just fucking block him anyway. Sorry. But but Grizz, you you mm. you're wrong for that man because Which usually bit? I come in I, because usually I come in and usually I wind up the callers and I get under their skin and I get them to do the madness and you kind of mediate that right? That's Grizz with Grizz flip. What did I say? Tell me what Grizz went off. Chris, the man was this guy was never a negative guy. He was no Grizz. He was just never Grizz, over Grizz. the top. Chris obviously believes it. I think Bro, you're mixing him I up with somebody. I don't forget anything. That, that's exactly that, 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 that. Apart from Indian Scouser, apart from Indian Scouser being again. from Thailand, is it Thailand? That's a tiebreaker. <laughs> that's a tiebreaker. Say what you just said again. I just think you're mixing him up with somebody. Thank okay, you very much. That's I might exactly have, I case. might have been. I don't think uh, I am, but I, 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 I'm me. <laughs> We said, Chris, I, I listen to I you. I try to back you to get him going. Sometimes listen to me always. Nobody, nobody needs. All I'm saying is sometimes needs. listen to me always. <laughs> nah, good. I think you got the wrong guy. He might have fit the description, <laughs> but you got the wrong guy. <laughs> the worst thing is Chris is making him do the research and bring his own heavy. <laughs> Go find out when I insulted you. Go find out. Go find out when you were a dickhead. Oh. Go on. So that's that's why I had to interrupt because I'm like, man, I don't like where this is going. Grizz is saying you've committed a crime. <laughs> Go prove to me that you committed this crime, and you bring me the evidence. Poor lad, it's four a.m. in India. He stayed up all night, and he stop comes it, on just, it, for, just for Grizz to shout at him. <laughs> oh no, you're shit, mate. You 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 didn't like it five stop weeks it. ago, did Bring. you? Uh, he's just like, it wasn't me. Yes, it By was the him. Go find out that it was you. Go find out that it was you, because you know it was you. And if it Grizz. wasn't you, then well done, Grizz. Is this how you police up your community? Yeah. No, 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 no. Big up RSI because he's a bad boy supporter of the channel. He's always in the big six comments as well. So big him up every time. I could be just playing with him. I don't think I am, but these two think I'm playing. I don't think I am, but next week I think he will find the tapes and present it to me in the in the court of law, and then I will bring it forward and I will. I'm gonna I'm know. gonna look for the tape as well because I'm curious. <laughs> Four a.m. just to get destroyed. <laughs> nah, you know what it is. You know what it is, man. Um, ah, oh, Chris, get the NYPD hoodie. Yeah, yeah. Up. Next week I'm coming. RSI come through next week. I'm gonna be <laughs> you know it's mad, yeah. So I started the show and people was like, damn, Zabiri, it's like you went to the police station and snitched on your boy Gakpo. Yeah. Because right. So um all I'm saying is people be careful when you come in here. You might fit a description and you might get pressed. That's all I'm saying. Simple um, people. 
it's been, been fun, a magnificent man. show man it's been a ma- it's been a it's magnificent fun. show after a magnificent victory of from, Come our on! Magnif- from our magnificent club we keep it moving we keep it rolling very soon i'm gonna start the slogan again very soon i'm gonna start the slogan again not yet not yet but you guys know the slogan from the quad year dream until you can't dream no more but hold on to that thought because it's it ain't easy and it's too early but people this has been the calling khan show daza co-hosting Jewish part two and of course my partner in crime <laughs> Not this crime, no, not this crime. crime. Not gonna say no. It was a crime earlier. It's a very in the building. We're gonna go out with the intro without music. People it ain't a mistake. Le- we some, le- we, le- we're trying to fix that. We're gonna fix it soon. Ale, 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 ale. Peace. Ale, ale, ale.